John Mark Butler is your State Farm agent in Dublin for auto, home, property, and life insurance. Drop by today and talk with one of our dedicated members of your State Farm team at John Mark Butler, 1518 Bellevue Road here in Dublin. Join the winning State Farm team today at John Mark Butler State Farm Insurance. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Welcome to Cleve Warnock Field. This is Channel 35 Game of the Week between the Trinity Crusaders and the Edmund Burke Spartans. I'm here, this is Don Carlson. We're here with John Mark Butler. It's a big game tonight. As we wait for the uh, opening flip. Yeah, we got two teams that are both uh, two and one in the region. Big implications tonight. Uh, they beat a tough team, Frederica, at home, which is good. We're very surprising with the athletes they have. So we, we're going to have a humdinger tonight. I know the Crusaders are, are excited. It's senior night. They want to end the season with a big win and, and, and have momentum going into the playoffs. Well, we got four seniors out there for the opening flip. We got Jack Ferris, Chris Young, uh, Keon Taylor, and William Gay, four guys that have played for four years here at, at Trinity. We've got a good group out there of 10 seniors. And those guys have been out here for four years now, really competing, going through a coaching change when they were sophomores, and having some great success the last two years. It's sad to see them wrapping their home regular season career up tonight. That's right. All those who play football, they they know, looking back, <laughs> many years back, uh, how much he missed it. And I'm sure Coach Phils did a good job of letting those seniors know yeah. how important it is to play these last few games as hard as they can. Well, the great thing about it, just like last year, when we could continue our, our season with that last home game against Bullock last year, this year, if they can win this game, they'll get to play here again next week in the first round of the playoffs. That's right. That's what we're hoping is for a, a great game by the Crusaders. They, they really look uh, – they. Against Bullock, they played heads-up football, a lot of good defensive plays, had some turnovers, and hopefully tonight the defense will show out tonight as well. Well, our Crusaders won the opening kickoff, and they deferred to the second half, which is typical nowadays. And so we'll be moving, uh, we'll be kicking off to the east side um, in just a moment here when we have the opening kickoff. We're going, the teams are going to run out here. Uh, a lot of excitement, a big crowd tonight here. Um, I believe it might be the biggest crowd of the season in senior night, of course. So you got all these parents out here and grandparents. So it's a big crowd tonight. Yeah, it, it takes a, a lot of effort to have a football game from cooking the meals. I know, I think North Poplar Springs Church uh, fed them tonight and did a devotion with the team. They do that every uh, at every game. So we have a lot of participation by the community. Very thankful for our, our local uh, businesses in our community for helping us make this season possible. Friday night in the Cleveland, one more time. A lot on the line tonight. It's a chance for a region championship for Edmund Burke. They finished last in the region. They've had a great turnaround this year. They've went six and three. Uh, I don't think anyone would have expected them to do it as they come out on the field. They've got a big squad, obviously. Um, yeah, they, they do have some uh, great athletes as well, especially in the backfield. So the critics, the Crusaders will have a tough time tonight defensively, have a, a tough matchup tonight with the offense of the Spartans. Well, both teams are made it to the sidelines and the, the fans are settling in for what should be a great game tonight. It's the end of the regular season for GISA. There's big games all over the place, but this is about as big a game as there is in the state, GISA uh, AAA this, this week.
To so many of you who count on us for your prescription medication needs, I'd like to thank you for your years of trust. To those who've yet to choose Tomlinson Pharmacy and Medical Park Pharmacy, I invite you to stop by and discover what makes us different. Medical Park Pharmacy is your family's one-stop destination for their prescription, health, and wellness needs. Our staff greets you with a smile and provides a level of customer care and expert service that truly sets us apart. Realizing your time is valuable, we'll always strive to have your prescriptions filled in minutes, not hours. Have a concern about a new medication? Our pharmacists are available to discuss the instructions and precautions. In addition, Medical Park Pharmacy also stocks a wide array of over-the-counter medications and medical supplies. With the drive through window, free delivery within city limits, and refills through our phone IVR website or mobile phone app, staying healthy has never been so convenient. At Medical Park Pharmacy, local owners Wendell and Wendy Smith provide hands-on service to ensure your satisfaction. We care about earning your business and strive to make you a regular customer. Come experience a difference. Visit Medical Park Pharmacy today. And we're back for the opening Better kickoff. Right for the Spartans, number we got four, Tyson Post. They have a, a different setup. Uh, <laughs> We do our usual move, and they were prepared for it. And Colin Crozier is going to go back and kick this ball off right here, John Mark. I know N number four Tyson Post is back. He's a big play uh, maker for Edmund Burke. He's had a great year this year. In the, in the past few games, they've been doing a little pooch kick in the middle to the side. It's like they do it again. Now they go with it uh, straight down the middle, and. Uh, Fair catch. I guess he fair caught it. I never saw his hand go up there, but uh, Trip Parker fair caught yeah. it at the 25 yard line, which is a uh, 24 yard line. So, yeah, I, I, that was a, uh, the cat, you saw the Casper hand go up there. Yeah, I, well, I'm glad the ref blew the whistle because I was afraid he was about <laughs> to get hit, but I, you know, uh, the coaches didn't see a fair catch either, but the whistle blew, and that's what they're trying to do. Is maybe, that's, maybe that's the next design play. That like you did a fair catch, and then uh, everybody well, come maybe. up to you and then throw it out wide. That's right. It could be a setup. They come out in a, uh, a double wing. Uh, very, sim very similar to the training's offense as well. They put a man in motion and they fake out and it's quarterback draw. And he's got a big opening there. You got William Gay coming over in good pursuit. Yeah. But it was a 14 yard gain. For Easton Waters. That, Waters is just a, a freshman back there at quarterback for uh, Edmund Burke there, John Mark. Yeah, that was a that was a good fake, and he took off and sprinted around the, the corner there and put up some, a good game for the Spartans. The first down for the Spartans Definitely not to contain the outside no, defensively here. No, it was wide open. It was good pursuit from William Gay to prevent that from being an even bigger play on first down. They, right up the now middle. Now they give the fullback right up the middle the on the dive. Number 10, Collier Smith on the carry. And they go, to a, they go to a hurry up, it looks like. Well, maybe not. It looked like they were lining up there for just a moment. Yeah, man, yeah, quarterback went to the side. It's like they're going to run it in. They send the play, the and two. Send the play in from the sideline by number 30. Yeah, he's another halfback. You'll see number three and number 30 alternate in this game. They come back out in that same tee, and they got twins on the far side. And there goes the fullback dive again. Uh, it's covered up a little bit better that time. He still made a good, a good push. Yeah, Colin, for the first down. Uh, number ten, Collar Smith. He's a 5'11", 205 pound senior. So he's a load. And looks like he's he's got a lot of muscle on him too. So he's gonna be a tough one to bring down tonight. That's right. Yeah, majority of the time, it looks like, I mean, from the film, from I was talking to some of the coaches, that they run the ball a lot. So, so they go this it's gonna, they're going to be pounding the defensive line tonight. And yeah, we read it that time. They went tried to go off tackle a little bit more. So, and that ball was red. Chase Autry comes shooting out. Top of line of scrimmage, number 34, Chase Autry. I'll bring up a second down. This time, ten. quarterback Easton Waters will go over and get the play himself. Yes, they have shuttled it back and forth with the receivers. The they want to make sure.
So they're going to try to beat the clock right here. And they'll come uh -huh. up in a hurry. And Crusaders look ready. They I would come think back it's with another. That. They come out with singles on each side. Yeah. And they didn't get the playoff there, John Mark. And that's a tough. Yeah, time out on the field. That's, a, that's, that's an early timeout. Time time you know, I don't know yeah. that I wouldn't have took the five-yard penalty there. That's off early in the game to take the five-yard penalty. Well, you sort of, you sort of want momentum, yep. and you don't want to back up and we're, stop it here. We're going to take a timeout here as well. Uh, 9.50 gone in the first quarter at Cleveland Oak Field, 0-0. Zero zero. Hi. I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. If you want all-out performance, choose the Can-Am Maverick line of side-by-side. -side. With models up to 172 horsepower, 20 inches of ground clearance, 24 inches of suspension travel, power steering, and four-wheel drive, there is nowhere you can't go. And nowhere you can't go quickly. Coming soon, the Maverick Trail, with features like its larger sibling. The Maverick Trail will go places you never thought possible. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. And we're back here with 9.50 gone in the first quarter. Uh, second and 10. Uh, a little bit of confusion on that play a while ago, John Mark, and they had to burn our, a timeout off early. You gotta have a defensive stand here. Just a straight up, right up the middle. Number four, Tyson Post, uh, made a good little cut. There wasn't a lot of room there, John Mark, but he made a good little cut and picked up about seven, seven and a half yards. Yeah, he followed, their, followed his blocks like you're supposed to and picked up the necessary yards. A lot easier. Third and three, getting the first down. That's right. Defense has got to just got to shoot those gaps and get in there in the backfield. Right now, the offensive line is, is doing a good job of making maintaining their blocks. There's a big hit there. He's fighting, but it was a good stop there. We can't call your Smith on the carry. Looks like Daniel Lindo was headed that play. up and made a great play there with some help from some other guys on that line. So the early decision right here for Evan Burke. Do you go for it on fourth and two or do you play field position? It looks like there's no, no deciding about it. They're going for it right here on fourth and two. A big early play three minutes in the game, John Mark. Well, this is this is for their region championship, so I would think they're going to play aggressive tonight. You got to look for that fullback. That, that quarterback might pull it right I here. I thought I was going to give anybody be number 10. There goes that quick pitch. Out. And he's got numbers over there. And he, he made our guys miss. Chase Autry chasing. And he makes it to the corner there. That was an outstanding call to spread it out. Number three, Kyler no, number three, Kyler Kyler Deason. They, that was the first pitch that they had of the night. And uh, it ended up being a 39-yard run. He made that one cut out there. They had numbers on the side. Uh, we were bunched up in the middle looking for them to, to, to yeah, force it up the middle I, on us I would have, If it would have been me, I would have given it to their big fullback, number 10. That was Blake a Harrison good call by uh, Spartans coach. They line up Blake Harrison for a straightforward extra point, and it's good. And that gives good Edmund Burke an early 7 to nothing lead quarter, with eight minutes six, to go in the first zero. quarter here at Cleveland Oakville. We'll take a break after this message right here by John Mark. Did you know that natural gas is half the cost of electricity? Start saving today. Stay tuned after the game for our players of the game. Brought to you by the City of Dublin Natural Gas. Feel like going rogue? Let Dublin Nissan save you the most money. This week at Dublin Nissan, get up to $3,600 in savings on the versatile Rogue. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. Z-100 
0% financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The City of Dublin Natural Gas. We're back for the kickoff, 820 to go. They put 20 seconds back on the clock. Um, Good drive by the Spartans. It was. Um, and they kick a high kickoff. Still running. It's going to be a good, strong return out to the 35 yard line. Meadows returns the ball back to the Trinity 35 yard line. We're we'll going to take over first down and 10. Last week against Bullock, we saw a good mixture of offensive plays. Uh, tonight, I would, I would think, will be the same. We come out, David Coleman at quarterback, and we have trips to the near side here, John Mark. Looks like Matt Coleman. Is Matt Coleman in the fullback? It looks like it's Matt. Looks like we're gonna have a jump on the defense right there. A hard count from David Coleman. I think, the, the, I mean, from watching the film last week, they're definitely aggressive. And that's a lot of different cases by the quarterback's gonna help us tonight, pick up some easy five yards. So we're gonna come out here with trips with Jake Walker, uh, Gabe Meadows and Jack Ferris on this near side. Matt Coleman lined up behind David Coleman. Another. That's going to be a free first down, well, looks like, for us. Edmund Burke's a little jumpy this morning. This evening. Yeah, whatever it is, whatever time it is. Maybe it's morning for them. Yeah, they're still pumped up from the touchdown. That's right. Like in this in this uh, ball game, you got a lot of kids going both ways. Well, and this is a this is an opportunity too. When I mean, you got a team that's that that pumped up, that uh, you might see uh, some play action early on before the run is even set up. We got numbers out here on the side. Great blocking by Jake Walker. Nice cutback by. He's Pass to Gabe Meadows. Meadows down. The ball comes out on contact with the ground there. That's a nice, nice little play right there. Yeah. Uh, good blocking by Jake Walker that once was a, again. He locked up on it and gave him a chance. Pick up some yards. Good start. We'll come out and we'll flip flop, and basically flip flop the uh, the. This time we're gonna give it to the fullback. There's Matt Coleman running hard, and running, 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 just running over people there, John Mark. It's a 16-yard pickup, and that'll be another first down for the Crusaders. It's a good start for us on offense. The offensive lines stay with their blocks and did a good job pushing them downfield. And Matt, Matt's a hard, hard runner too. He's a downhill runner, and he he don't he doesn't do a lot of faking and juking. There's not a lot of wiggle in him. Well, got you know down. he's coming. They got William Gay now back in the backfield, fullback. Oh, got a little, a little excitement for. Wag on the play. Kalen I the think Kalen might have just lost his balance there. It looked like he might have lost his balance because it wasn't. Well, all he has to do is lean a little bit. That's a long way. Yeah. He's a big old boy with those long legs. Yeah. So that'll put us behind the markers here, behind the chains in first and 15. A little fake. He takes it up. David Coleman hangs on to it. Good blocking downfield again. Made a good decision there not to pitch it. That's a, that was a great read by David. He made the guy choose. That's right. Luckily the pursuit from the back, um, he stayed ahead of the pursuit. So That's that was right. a, Good offensive run by David well, David's, Coleman. David's quickness opens up a lot of things on That'll offense for us. Second down and five, the Crusaders. And we're rotating those fullbacks in and out. Here comes Gideon oh. Jr., Gideon Meadows, Meadows in. Still got it stacked up on us. We'll come out with twin wings. Wide open. That was a 
A young mistake there by David Coleman. Just got a little greedy. Had a man in front of uh, uh, Whit Mason there, and there just wasn't anything there. Might have been a time where he should have took it and got what he could running the ball. Well, I was uh, sitting here watching the play. The, the, the throw was to the outside. I think that might have been Ferris, number 20, I think. He was open. Had a, about a five yard, but it was, like I said, he was being pursued and he had it. In order to throw the ball, the ball accurately, accurately really you got to get set up where you can make a good throw. And That's right. A lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Example, this tractor. There's multiple ways to cover your equipment. It is replacement cost, actual cash value, ensuring the GPS system on it. In addition to tractors, we also cover any implements that you would like to cover. It's like this front end loader has a value added to your tractor or on its own. A lot of times, the only way we will insure a farm is if we come to your site. We're gonna walk it, we're gonna talk it, we're gonna find out what you do and what your interests are. We're gonna customize it so that you get full benefit with the broadest coverage that's available on the market today. A lot of people find out at the time of a claim that they were not properly covered. That is my worst fear. So we make sure going in that you are covered properly. Don't forget to insure your sprayer. A lot of people say, I rode by and didn't see you at your office. That's cause I was probably on a farm. So Edmund Burke will take over uh, at the 15 yard line. Well, the, they're whistling. What's the whistle? I think the officials might have got mixed up there. I don't see Apparently, a either they hiked the ball before the whistle was blown, maybe? It's a timeout on the field. It was inadvertent. I think they were fooled and they thought the play was at the line of scrimmage there, uh, John Mark. And uh, yeah, they blew it dead. Because Kalen and a couple of guys on the line had their guy line locked up there at the line, but he didn't have the ball. But I don't know that the official on this, the line judge on this side. Well, I wish we had the luxury of rewinding that one, but we don't. Yeah, that's, that's probably, I'm assuming that's why either it was downed. Yeah, they so they the, let the they play roll out uh, instead of uh, replaying the down. I would have thought when an inadvertent whistle, they would have replayed the down. Second down. But they give them a pick up of four yards there and puts them in a second and four. They go to the fullback, Gideon Meadows is in there. And Fighting for it, Hammer went flying. You can't call your on the carry of the hill. Number, number 10, Collier Smith will have to come out for a play. He lost his helmet there. So it's going to put us in a third and three. This is a big, big play for us right here. We turned our momentum a while ago with that interception, and it'd be a good time to come up with a stop right here, John Mark. Yeah. The turnovers, we, we definitely need to come up with a stop because that's, they, we let them make a good drive here. We don't, it's going to be tough to, to go in ahead. They stack him up. There's a flag came in. A late flag for some flag reason. Flag on the plane. Yeah. Unless somebody saw a block or chop block. I don't know what that would It looks been. like maybe they're going to call a face mask or something. Yep. That's face a face mask. mask. against the Crusaders. A lot of times when you get a guy spinning around like that, guys are just reaching in there trying to pull him down. And you get something inadvertent like that happen. So it's a five yard penalty, but it was oh, enough to give him a first down there, John Mark. For, uh, first down. Seeing some good things by the defense. I mean, they're running backs, especially number 10. He's not somebody you're just going to pound and knock down. You're going to have to drive you him. You got to lock him up. Lock him up and let somebody else have to get him down. Another. Wrap up. They're not wrapping they're up. They're not wrapping up. And there goes Collier Smith, number 10, Smith running, running through a tackle. And uh, I tell you what, winning last week has given, given this uh, Edmund Burke team a lot of confidence. Yeah, you don't know if they you know, just played their heads off and just 
They're going to come back and be a little down. Looks like they're picking up where they left off. But it's like we've said all, we don't have a margin error. We got to tackle guys. We can't let them have extra yards. Because this team will run and run and run. And they go with the same fullback dive and he's having the same powerful run there. Eight more yards, Call your Smith. Call your Smith to get on the carry. Brought down by Matt Coleman and Keon Taylor. So I bring up a second and short right here. Offensive line's done a good job of it. Opening some holes, a linebacker is to make the stop right now. Yep. You got a feeling this is a team that doesn't worry about a second short, second long. They're going to run the ball. Another sweep. And sure enough, they do it. The toss, and he gets a running start again. Oh, and you get about a, yeah, they like to stack it in there and pitch one guy out wide to try right. to get the corner. Eight yard pickup. We've seen that play three times tonight. That's right. They've definitely have or eaten the clock up. That's right, John Mark. It'll be first and ten at the 32. It's time for us to get in there and make a big play. And Coach Fields is going to take a timeout and regroup right here. And with that, we'll take a timeout. But first, remember, replace your old appliances today with brand new gas appliances for zero out of pocket and zero percent financing the city of dublin natural gas will just add it to your bill start saving today the city of dublin natural gas is a proud sponsor of our offensive and defense players of the game Dr. Jackson Fordham is a proud sponsor of local high school football on TV 35. Dr. Fordham is located in his new office at 204 Fairview Park Drive. His experienced staff is ready to serve you today. So call and make an appointment at 272-4051. For all your dental needs, count on Dr. Jackson Fordham. Back in action at Khalid Warnick Field. It definitely feels like fall tonight, too, Don. It does. It's the first game of the year that's felt like it. Uh, nice, cool chill. But our guys have got to get, they got to get heated up out there, John Mark, and come up with a big play. I think that's what Coach Fields told them right then. There they go. The quarterback pulls it out, and we got good pursuit from behind and in front. Chase uh, Grant Gross in there. That was a smack on number 10. And who was, who hit him? Um, it, uh, I'm Nathan. not sure, but Grant Gross Grant and, and Whit Murphy. Griffin Hill came in there and smacked him. Well, that's what we got to do. That's what you got to do, do right you there. You got to hit them. Make them think about it. And that was a good play. They pulled it out. And uh, he faked the belly, and he was he was going to try to hit that gap again. So that'll put us in a second and eight and a half. This is, another, this is another formation where they'd like to throw it wide. Yep, they, they did actually, but it was off the, the corner that time. Another good run. They ran that one off tackle. Gabe Meadows. Gabe Meadows was there. We had a little bit Taylor. better containment out there this time. Bring up third down That's going to put us Spartans. in a third and four and a half. Um, so far, Evan Bird's been winning these four, third down That's plays. right. But the, well, as we all know, based on the first series, that this fourth and one and fourth and two, they're going to they're going to well, go for it. So yeah, this is four down territory. The, they're inside the 30. It's four down, I guarantee you. And they try to hand it. And we didn't lock up. We didn't lock up again. And number 10, Collier Smith is just running through us there, John Mark. He's a big, he's a big boy to take down. We had him stop short of the first down. And he went for 20 more yards. Collier Smith. On the carry brought down by Jake Walker and Matt Coleman. Gonna be able to burn first down. Uh, bring up first down and goal from the four yard line. And Burke, they're fired up right now, John Let's Mark. This defense. That was a good hey. stick. Number five, Before that was uh, Gideon, Gideon Meadows, Meadows comes in there. Five, you can always tell when Gideon hits someone, it's been the same way since middle school. <laughs> it just makes a different sound. First, second down and goal from the Second five. goal from the five. 
We've had some good goal line stands this year, and this is a time that we really need one. I have a sneaky suspicion they're going to go out wide again. Okay, now they come in the wishbone, tight bone uh, set up. And uh, quarterback. And uh, we had the containment, and William Gay overran the play. William would have had him in the backfield, and he overran the play. Well, it the, definitely is a night of missed tackles for the Crusaders. They are arm tackling these kids, and that's not going to cut it if they're going to win this ball game. That gives Edmund Burke a 13 to two, 13 to nothing lead, and they'll line up for the extra point. On the PATs, number one, Blake Harrison. We got close to a block, but another good extra point. And that's going to make it 14 to nothing. Edmund Burke Spartans with 202 left in the first quarter. We'll take a break right now. We're here today at Bank of Dudley to discuss business loans. So many businesses and industries trust the Bank of Dudley for a variety of financing alternatives to suit your specific needs, from short-term loans to help with cash flow, loans to purchase equipment or facilities. At Bank of Dudley, we have commercial mortgage loans, capital improvement loans for construction or renovation. We can help with your business vehicle loans or for a small business line of credit. In other words, Bank of Dudley has your business covered. No matter what it is, you can trust the lenders at the Bank of Dudley with five convenient locations, East Dublin, Downtown Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, Dudley, and Jeffersonville. The Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. We're back here at Cleve Warnock Stadium. And uh, Edmund Merck has gotten off to a quick start here, John Mark, and taking an early 14 to nothing lead. Um, they drove down and scored quickly. We came back down the field, flying down the field, and threw an interception at the goal line, and then turned around, and they went 90 yards again to score again, make it 14 nothing. And it was all running the ball down our throats. Yep, here we go. We get good, good starting position for us again. Gabe Meadows with a nice return up to the 40-yard line. We drove it last time. We just stopped ourselves, John you Mark. Know, I, that's what I was thinking uh, from watching our line and some of our play calling. We, our offense is, is running smoothly, uh, so that pick. But beyond that, you can't really complain about it. Well, it's, it can be a shootout game, but the thing is is we can't turn the ball over because with them running all this basic stuff, there's not as many opportunities for them to turn it over unless That's we right. force the turnover. That is right. <laughs> Might have been, not much there for Matt Coleman. Might have been an opportunity for David to pull that one back and, and uh, on the read, he goes to the corner. Yeah, don't know if that was just a give regardless or, right. or a read for him. It's hard to say sometimes what the coaches, <laughs> certain certain plays where they give them opportunity to make a read or not. That's right. We got to come out here pumped out in this series here. We got to get some points on the board. There we go, that's a good strong run by Matt Coleman spinning. I tell you. Picked up 14 yards right there, John Mark. Give us the first down. Yeah, I think I think we have a we're gonna have a shootout tonight. I just hope we can catch up. That's we got, right. We need some we need a turnover. We just have to have some stops. We just got to hold on to the ball, run hard. We got William Gay now back in the backfield. It's like the defense is shifting a little bit inside. They had, he had a hole, he's still fall. William Gay on the carry. William ran second, hard, there wasn't yeah, a lot of room there. Then a little second extra uh, effort there to right. get two, two or three more yards. That's right. Second down and seven for Trinity. 
Yeah, Williams done uh, well too as far as a wrestler. I think he's won state a few times. That's uh, right. He's uh, he's always been an outstanding wrestler all the way back to middle school years. And he's one lighter fullbacks around, but he doesn't play light. No, at the fullback position, you, you like to hit. <laughs> you like to hit or be and hit. He likes to hit on both sides. That's of the right. Got a pass play. Good. A little hitch. Pass be about third, third and about two, two and a half. And that's the end of the first be, quarter. That'll be the end of the first quarter with Edmund Burke leading your Trinity Crusaders 14 to nothing at Cleveland right, Knockfield. We'll be back in just a minute. Crusaders. Score big with the Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Catch all the savings throughout the store. Score big with fresh produce, grocery items, dairy products, and don't fumble the handoff. Choose 100% certified Angus beef from Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Taste the difference today. Fresh food, friendly service, Piggly Wiggly. Zero percent financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The city of Dublin natural gas. And we're back here to start the second quarter. John, Trinity will be facing a big third and a short one the from the Edmund Burke 37 yard one. line. It's a big play here, John Mark. Uh, we need to win some of these third downs. I sort of wish we would just fake it and, and throw a pass for a, t a quick six here, but it's very definitely in four down territory for us as well. So they're trying to change the cadence. Oh, he didn't call it. Yeah, yeah he did call did. it. Uh, uh, Jake Walker uh, jumped the count out here on the near side. Yeah, we uh, take from a third and one to a third and six, John Mark. Well, Seems like we're trying to shoot ourselves in the foot again. Back them up five yards and be third down and six for Trinity. Just the little things right now, John Marker. Um, locking up guys, making the plays. We need to get started doing that right now. We'll have Jack Ferris and Gabe Meadows out here wide. Yeah, the offensive line is doing a good job of blocking. Big block there. And we got oh, a man open. Just, just. Uh, and he's overthrown. There is a flag. I don't know yeah. if that's going to be a late hit. It, it is. It had to be. Is a had to be. No. Roughing the passer. Uh, yeah, he sort of set up and threw, and he got hit from behind after the. That'll give us a first down. Yeah, he threw yeah. it. He threw it, and he just came out and just That's clobbered him. It was uh, it was two steps. It was an easy call. Uh, a great block. I believe that was Gideon Meadows that uh, laid out one of their guys that was coming in. Um, that'll put us a first down at the 28-yard line. Maybe this is the the shot and arm we need to get an end zone. And we come out in that tight formation. There goes the handoff. Some good hard running there by Gideon Meadows. Gideon Meadows. We'll say he picked up carry. about five or six yards. Yeah, the, it's like the, the line well, shifted over to where we were running. It's sort of like, huh. The difference in the game right now is we're both making, we're getting, we're getting forward progress, both teams are, as far as getting a push from our offensive line. The difference is, is they've been locking our guys up and bringing them down after five yards and we've allowed them to uh, 
we've had those same opportunities, and we haven't locked their guys up and, and shortened five, shorten the drives for uh, Edmund Burke. We come out, we have Matt Coleman at fullback. Yeah, that keeper on the plate, David Coleman around right in. I go say, yeah, I think he make a contact with the yeah. ground. I was a little loose with that ball. That was that was close right there, John Mark. Well, was, he made the right read by keeping it and going around the corner. Down, you just got to be sure. Got to be secure with that ball. Um, this other thing's fired up. Evan Burke is, and they're hitting hard, and they're going to be looking to create turnovers any which way they can. They want to get that offense back going. So we come back and we're in another third and one, this time at the 19 yard line. We come back in that tight formation. Should be sick. Well, it's third and one. It was Gideon ran on first down and that was second down. That's right. David kept the ball, and, and I guess the, the spot of the the ball. Yep, they're getting it corrected now. There was just some confusion by our fine chain gang. All right, we're back in action finally here with the signal of the referee. There goes a big opening for Matt Coleman, and good strong running by Matt. He had a big hole there. That was really Close good. to a late hit on number 36 there, John Mark. I know. They I've, I've seen several uh, late hits. That was real close. And that may cost them later. They yeah, keep it, doing might, it. it might. You it's know, not team, bad, but they're still well, helping on. A lot of team, times the team will get emboldened by that, and they just get a little bit more and a little bit more. And uh, we'll take the yards however we'll get it. Seven yard line for the Crusaders. That was a big 12 yard burst by Matt. There's a big hole on that left side we'll of the line. These guys are pushing in the end zone. Yep. Crowd starting to fire up here as they get closer to the goal line. We come back, Craig Hightower leads the, the uh, offensive line back out there, and they're doing a good job, John Mark. William, William Gay. Oh! I didn't know what that, happened. David held on to the ball, and it was loose. And uh, I when thought they William Gay around, had it. When they <laughs> swung him around. For... Take it in for a touchdown. Uh, and uh, he got knocked back. It was Spartans everywhere. And uh, luckily Jake Walker was in the Johnny on the spot there. And that was a scary deal there. Well, second and 16, we got a yeah, we're second and goal from the 16 yard line here. Uh, Definitely want to surpass an opportunity, but we got to make a good decision here. We got some motion. Uh, I like this play here. Throw back to Walker. And there goes David Coleman. This is what David brings to us. He picked up about eight yards David there. The he gets us in a little bit more manageable third and goal from the nine. I think David made a good decision there. The there wasn't anyone really open, but we got we cut it in half and got it got it inside yeah. the ten. That was a heads up play. It was. It looked like he might have a guy open for a second, but he probably made the right decision. Uh, we couldn't afford another interception down there. Chris, I tell you, they're stacking the box, but. I don't know that you won't see some kind of fade. They're playing off of Jack Ferris a lot, but. And he's got a man open. Right open. Number a great Good play by David. That was a situation where they were worried about David running the ball. And number 52, Ashley Clark, a senior, got lost. And, and he, he got lost. And, and like the coach said, he can't run with uh, Gabe out there, but he also just sort of got lost. He, uh, yeah, yeah, he was in uh, the back of the end zone, and David. That's one thing you like about a quarterback is keep his eyes downfield to keep looking for the open guy. And the good thing is he can he can run the ball as well. So that was a, a good combo of faking him out and Gabe wide open in the end zone for a six. 
We were real close to pulling off a polecat there, I think, because they were they were forgetting our guy out wide. But Colin Crozier will line up. And he knocks it straight through. And that'll make the score. Edmund Burke 14, Trinity 7, with 8.50 seconds to go in the second half, uh, second quarter. And we'll be back in just a minute. Real people, steal people. Professionals demand dependability on the job. Homeowners expect long-lasting value. And servicing steel dealers provide friendly, knowledgeable support. Right now, steel blowers start at just $139.95. And get the powerful MS250 chainsaw for just $299.95. Get yours now, only at your local steel dealer. Visit steeldealers.com or search STIHL. Cullen Supply and Engine Service, your steel dealer at 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville and 910 East Jackson in Dublin. When it's time to buy or sell your home, it's time to put the winning team at Century 21 to work for you. And our team includes Jody Tanner, Jim Jarrett, Pam Tillery, David Deves, Beverly Forbes, Ann Adams, Raina Dubberly. Benny Helton, Charlene Brantley, Ruth Watson, Jay Brantley, Charlene Lamp, Yvonne Robertson, Karen Widmer, and broker George Durden. So put the Century 21 Durden Cornegate team to work for you today, and you're sure to score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com. Call 272-1535 or log on to c21dublin.com. We're back here at Cleve Warnock Field, and uh, our guys line up in their huddle like they do traditionally for every, every uh, you know, kick. before the season's over, over I will hope they kick one. <laughs> just <laughs> just because. Because I've, I've watched like I need. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just because. You'd just like them to do it just once. Just do it once. Yep. Just once. Colin kicks it. It's a high kick and another a fair, fair catch. catch. We saw the fair catch that time by number 24. By and so another effective kickoff. And uh, Edmund Burke will be starting at their own 23. I feel like anytime in high school, you can keep them starting around the 20 and they got to go close to 80 yards. That's There's right. There's a, a lot of uh, things can happen. And this is where we've got to make some adjustments defensively and start making some plays, John Mark. That's, that's right. They're, they're just running the ball very aggressively against us and just moving it. I mean, not with ease, but they're, they're making some big plays, but a lot of it's due to our, our arm tackling. That's right. And there's one thing about it. I think this team knows what they're going to do, and that's run, and then run, and then run some more. And until we stop it, you can't blame them. Then there goes, there's a fumble. Who? The big hit in the background. I think that was Kalen. I think it was Kalen back there. I'm not sure. Tackle bay number 14, Witt Mason. Yeah, they're going to get that to them, Witt Mason. Yep. That was a big hit, and he locked him up. It is senior night, and we want these seniors to come out and shine the night for sure. And we've got several out there on that defense right now. Um, Witt and Chase. Uh, Gabe Meadows. Another wide pitch. They're going to give it. There you go. They're wrapped up. They run that little wing. Right wing. That's and how that's you tackle, a, uh, Don, right there. There's another senior, Matt <laughs> Coleman, coming through there. And uh, that's right. They, they had some contain on the outside, forced him back in. And that's what you do. You got to force that guy back into the pursuit and let the pursuit lay the wood. Because as you know, as an old running back, the more you get hit, the less hard you run. <laughs> that's right. Unless you, uh, unless you like uh, old Herschel Walker and Ryan well, Wrightsville, who used to well, punish you as he ran. Well, you know, they asked Herschel one time, they said, well, you run the ball 40 times a game. Do you get tired? He said, well, that football ain't ain't heavy. <laughs> so it's a big third down here, John Mark. And there goes the toss, and they're going to throw it. And there's all kinds of 
Oh, it was almost an interception there on the backside by Jake Walker. We had that little little razzle dazzle. That's and, uh, that's what we uh, from the film. They do not throw the ball a lot. So right. And when they they're gonna try to trick, do something tricky. But we were all over that one. We yeah. had that covered. And on the, probably for the Spartans coach, he doesn't want to have the quarterback get out there and make a throw and get a pick here. That's right. Versus uh, another timeout here. Timeout They're gonna have to. The they field. had a problem with staffing out there on the field, Burke, and Edmund Burke, Burke had to take a timeout out here with 7:35 in the second quarter, and we'll be back in just a moment. I'm Dr. Manuel Vega uh, from Dublin Macon Cardiology. I've been in the same office in the campus of Fairview Park Hospital since 2004. I usually market myself as being uh, Lawrence County only cardiology group that's available uh, 24 hours, seven days a week. What it means is I live in town. I live probably five minutes from the hospital. This is different from some of the other cardiologists in the area, which mostly reside or live in Probably the closest place will be Macon, Georgia, which is about an hour away. On any given day, my office is open and a patient may come in and see myself or see my PA or my nurse practitioner and actually get an answer immediately than having to wait for weeks or, or days or waiting until that doctor has another rotation locally. The difference in having a local cardiologist, especially a person with all the credentials and all the boards, is that you get excellent care and you get it locally. I don't have a mission statement, but my statement is uh, go through life and touch people positively and make a difference in somebody else's life. And that's how I practice and that's how I live. We're back here with 735 to go in the second quarter and the first big defensive stop by Trinity and they'll be lining up, Edmund Burke will be lining up the punt. You got Jake Walker. Like saving nope. the punt here, and he has done some a great job this year of returning punts. So hopefully he gets a chance now. A little bit of penetration, a yeah. high kick. It gives him opportunity. Looks like he might have a little bit of an opportunity. There's a big hit. He makes a little juke, and we got a wall set up. He's not going to go, but that's a great return. There is a flag on the backside. Don't know exactly what that was. Well, I, I saw a hit, but I don't know if, it, if he could call that a. You think uh, on the replay? I wish you could watch it, but it looks like they might have. He had a, he hit him on the side. It looks like he had his head around, but it's it, it's a tough call. Well, the flag came from way behind the play, so not. Oh, man, the block in the right. Called against the Crusaders. That's that's probably that's where they called it about on the 50. Yep. It looked like a call where the flag is. It looked like it was behind the play. He got, to me, he got his head around, but apparently that wasn't yep. enough. But it, you know, just a mistake away from the play, where the flag was, that had to be away from the but, play. But regardless, Mark. that was a great defensive stand, and that's it what was. the Crusaders needed. That's exactly right, and even, even um, with the penalty, we picked up yardage on the return because I think he caught the ball right around the 40-yard line, so it's still... We're in great starting position here at the 48 yard line. It gives us a, a 50 yard field, John Mark, and that's what you always want to have a, a short start, a short field like that. And we've had a decent field position in this game. The line comes up. I like I like what we have outside. I'm curious to see if we'll throw it. Yep, we are. We had numbers out there. And there's a nice move by Gideon Meadows. They actually we had three out there, and they only had two out there. They had them. Uh, number 36, I, Joey Wall. I think. Yeah, get, get in. Gabe uh, did a great job, number 11. Re reading the blocks and then making a move. That's right. And picking up 15 yards. Uh, Coach Phillips seemed to be upset up there because they had a, they were missing a guy out there. We had trips, and they only had two defensive backs get over there. And uh, well, that's one of the things you got to do. You got to exploit a defense where their weaknesses are. That's right. And just that quick, that's a quick, safe pass. And I don't know if that was an audible that uh, David got to make, but when the numbers are out there, you need to take it. That's right. And, and they're going to do it on this side, too. Nice move by Jake. 
Walker. What happened then, John Mark, is they had three guys, but they had a guy 15 yards off the line of scrimmage. And so uh, what you're doing is you're setting them up, those, get those guys up, and then you can fake and try to throw it deep possibly. I mean, I'm not a coach, but. Looks like they're going tight this time. I don't know if they're going to go wide or not. Yeah, it looks like they're going, they're going to run the ball here. So we got a second and a short five or, here. Or a run set. That's right. So we got Davis waiting to, to William gets out. Sells another That's run. That's going to be a, a, a good big hole and good strong running by Matt Coleman. And he's going to be up there and get a first down there with about a seven yard pickup. Matt's running like it's senior night. That's right. Well, we're up for another Trinity first down. We definitely have a ball game, for sure. That's right. Because like we said, we needed that stop to, to, to turn the momentum a little bit. If we can, you know, obviously score here on this drive and keep them out of the end zone and go in, we get the ball back in the second half. And we That's can, exactly right. We can uh, make the second half a Crusader half. And I think we're going to do a lot of what they do and just run hard. And it goes, Matt goes flying through the air for a five-yard pickup. And one of the things about this offense, we got guys who are playing different positions early in the season who are moving around. And I'd say they're, they're definitely a team-oriented team. Well, one great thing is we got three fullbacks that we can rotate. So we're not going to get tired. You know, I don't think Edmund Burke has quite as much depth there. Um, and that might have been our idea. Hey, don't tackle them. Let them run a little bit. Get a little tired. <laughs> I, I wish that was the, the reason, but I I'm know. sure uh, it's not. The arm tackling definitely hurt us. Yep. Gideon, Gideon uh, took a hit, but he kept on going. He did. He kept pushing. Uh, looked like a missed block there. Yeah, he the and, uh, He's not not very happy about coming off, looks like. But he might have got hit in the nose. I don't know. He's holding his nose coming off the field. Third down and four for the Crusaders. Big, big play here, Don. It is. It's a third and four. Um, we don't need field goals. We need touchdowns. And this would be a lengthy field goal. But it's, it's two down territory, so. There's a big, big strong run by Matt Coleman. That's going to get a first down and much more. Yeah, the linebacker blitzed and gave him a hole on the right side of the line to get some more yards and he kept on pushing. He was close and he Matt kept Coleman spinning and picked up about close to six yards there. And you know, one of the things we were talking about earlier, how him and Burt was doing some late hits, but one of the things they are doing too, they're helping our guys up and they're patting each other That's on the right. back. That's right, it's yeah. been a good clean game yeah. so far. And it's good to see uh, players doing that. Good character there. This might be a time here for, a, uh, for him to pull that ball. We got everyone in tight. And you might see David Coleman going around in. Usually right he does a pass play to Wade or he's, he's up and deep. What are you doing? He's wide open, man. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's who the coaches wanted him to throw to, but he made the right decision to throw the ball high. You know, yeah, the only one that could catch the ball was our guy. Yeah, that's – and that run set, they – they will do that rollout with him, and, and it's really tough to catch him. It is, it's, and I, you know, I don't know if they, what's their uh, the jargon now, an RPO run pass option. I don't know if he has that option. Um, well, he had it's more of a touch pass, trying to. But you had a sort of thread the needle there. Yeah. He, had a, he had an opening. But like I said, when you're running the ball and trying to throw, I, mean, I used to play. It's 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 hard to do that. Sometimes. There goes that little short sweep to Jake Walker, and Jake runs strong there for about about Jake five Walker and a half yards. It's going to put us in about a third and five. That's the first time we've seen that little jet sweep tonight. Yeah, we ran that a good a good bit against Bullock, and hopefully. Well, Jake's been running that play for about three years now, and to good effect. Um, well, and then Jake has all. In the last few uh, series, I guess, you know, I guess the last few plays, he's run the ball a good, a good bit too. So, I may need a timeout here to We're going to take a timeout one. on a big third and five here from the Edmund Burke eight yard line with 3.38 to go in the first half. The we'll take a break here. What if there was a paint? 
that had the power to awaken something old or painfully dated or something you simply thought was lost forever because it could form a strong bond regardless of age. If a paint could give any time-worn surface stunning new life, you have to wonder, is it still paint? Regal Select Exterior from Benjamin Moore. Quality products and installations since 1985. That's Four Seasons. A lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Is your irrigation or your equipment insured at actual cash value or is it insured at replacement cost? How will the actual cash value actually be determined? By market value, which you can buy a used piece of equipment on the market for, or at some formula your insurance company has come up with. Replacement cost, is it at what it would have been at the current model or the new model? Don't find out at the time of a claim. Call us and let us go through it with you to help make sure that you're insured getting the most value for your dollar. Are your barns, equipment sheds, other structures covered properly? Is your livestock? Is your chemical in storage? Are your fuel tanks, your nitrogen tanks? Are all these items covered? Have you ever been asked? That's what we do when we come to your farm because we're on your side. Nationwide and Walker Insurance is on your side. And we come back here, John Mark. Oh, we got a big we, down here, Don. We got trips. It's third and five. Another pass play. He's he's there. He's there. Nope. Oh! And a nice play by number two. Mason Boswell was there. Jack Ferris almost came out with a circus catch. And uh, looks like we're going to line up and go for a three-pointer uh, three right here, John Mark, to, to cut this lead to 14 to 10. It was a pass that needed a little bit more loft on it. And uh, cause John, uh, Jack had a height advantage. They only got 10 players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Like... They got enough players. This will be a 25 yarder. And he missed it. That's a, uh, just missed it. It uh, just uh, punched, punched it right there, John Mark. Yeah, that was uh, it's, uh, disappointing. That was a good drive, and it just bogged down a little bit. And uh, field well, they, goals will kill you. They made some uh, good defensive plays on the pass. Um, I feel, I mean, obviously the pick uh, early in the first quarter. That's, that's a possible six points, and then right there, yep. uh, we should be at least tied so a 17, like, 14, or at least up, up the right. score going in. It's a little but, like the Pinewood game where we uh, had opportunities all over the place, and uh, the defense came through that night, and they've got to come through right here. Get ready on the motion. Looks like the quarterback's going to keep it. He makes the guy miss, and now he's in the open field. And he's only got Jake Walker to beat. And Jake Walker makes a great tackle in the open field at the 33-yard line. That's, a, that's a tough thing to do. They just went out with that keeper, and he made a guy miss at the line of scrimmage. And once he busted containment, he had, a, um, he had an open field. He just didn't have anyone in front of him to block. And Jake has made a bunch of those tackles over the last three years, and he made another one right there. Yeah, I'm glad he had the, the burst of speed to get there and maintain him. Yep, he maintained his angle, and the quarterback didn't have a choice but to try to cut back. I think they'll be going back. There they go, right back to that fullback, and he's running hard. Number 10, call yourself on the carry. We got a tackle right in the middle there by Keon Taylor, made that tackle. And Chase Autry was in there, too. I think Keon was on the bottom of it. Daniel Lindo will come in and give us a little bit more size as, as senior Griffin Hill comes out. Yeah, they've been trying to rotate this defense in all night. And they did a good job last week, too, trying to rotate them, keep them fresh. Uh, we just got to 
This is a big, a big, a big, a big time right here. And there goes another handoff to the fullback, and he dances through, and he never really got touched, John Mark. I, you know, it's, it's one of those situations where you take your eyes off of who you're supposed to maintain and hit, and the defense just didn't do a good job there. That's a big turnaround right there, John Mark, to go from a chance to make it 14 to 14 or 14 to 10, and now it's 20 to 7, Edmund Burke, as they line up for the extra point. One good thing about it, they score pretty quick to give us the opportunity to go back. And as you said, we get the ball to start the second half. So we got the biggest drive of the year coming up. And there goes the extra point, and it's good. And that's going to make it. Edmund Burke 21, Trinity 7, with 223 left in the second quarter. And remember, folks, replace your old appliances today with brand new gas appliances for zero out of pocket and 0% financing. The City of Dublin Natural Gas will just add it to your bill. Start saving today. The City of Dublin Natural Gas is proud sponsors of our offensive and defense players of the game. You've been saying you want it, and now's the time to get it. Pool and patio furniture in style with fabrics you want, comfort and durability you deserve. You'll even save on accessories and add your own personal style. Peak season in telescope casual furniture, a new category of furniture made of superior quality marine grade polymer will not crack nor separate in any outdoor environment and proudly made in America. Come see the full line of pool and patio furniture at Midstate Pools and spas today and bring home a colorful poolside with the original Pauly's Island Adirondack chairs. Visit our showroom today and see the complete line of lounge chairs for your pool and see the selection of Louisiana grills. The wood pellet grill that bakes, roasts, braise, smokes, grills, sears, char grills, and barbecues. Anytime's a great time for a Louisiana grill. And now's a great time to save at Mid-State Pools and Spas located on Veterans Boulevard in Dublin, Mid-State Pools and Spas, we know pools. No matter who your team is on Friday night, let's go Crusaders! Go Irish! Go Falcons! Go Raiders! Your Chevy team that can't be beat is Dublin Chevrolet! Get up to 20% off MSRP on Malibu. Dublin Chevrolet! Girls, one more time! Dublin Chevrolet! They know a winning team when they see one. We had a little technical difficulty there, folks, but we didn't miss any plays. It's, uh, first and ten. Another we do a little set. pop pass. And there goes Jake Walker. He got a first down, though. So first down. So we pick up the first down there. It looked like for a second there he might have had more room than that. So that took nine seconds. We got plenty of room here. Plenty of time, John Mark. And they'll start the clock. Then we go back the other way. And that time they read it. Well, they got one out of five. It's all right, though. We got a block. That's all right. There's two minutes left, and we'll be hurrying this up. We'll sort of go to a hurry up. Walker Payne comes in late. Yeah, Walker's had a, a good a good uh, experience with uh, David throwing the ball to him for long touchdowns. Maybe maybe he's the ingredient here on this play. There's Jake Walker. That's going to put us in a third and long here. Uh, we're going to have to go down the field with the ball, um, and they know that, John Mark. So we're burning a lot of time. We got plenty of time left. Still, we got 86 seconds. We got a lot of time to throw. He's got a man open. Great catch right there. Great catch by Walker Payne. Walker, well, Walker and Dave been playing together for about five I years. Just, I just said it. That's a great call, John Mark. We needed it. Those two kids have been playing together since about the second grade. Yes. And uh, they've made those connections several times. And as I said, there's a lot of time left here. 106. 
I know Walker's older brother, Wyatt, Georgia Bulldogs, here in the stadium tonight, and I know he's proud of his little brother right there. That was a big catch. We got a minute left in this we got for halftime as it's ticking down. We plenty got a, of time. We got, we got, a, got a timeout left, though. We got to get the ball in here. We got to make this a game. Davis calmly getting everyone in the right positions. And here we go with a roll. He's out of the back of the end. Unfortunately, that, that play just took a, it took a little bit too long. And as everyone drifted, he they almost drifted did, back. He didn't, he didn't uh, get a sense of where he was there. And the ball, the, the whole play just drifted about five yards too far. And he was about two yards out of the back right there, John Mark. That was a resemblance of the other touchdown we had. It was. He got behind the secondary. And uh, one good thing about it, it stops the clock. We can get organized here. It's uh, we got plenty of time. We have I have a timeout still, 41 and a half seconds left. And we just need to dial up a, a, a smart play right here. Jake. Yeah. It was it was a great catch though. Yeah. <laughs> it was. We'll come out with uh, Jack Ferris has got a one on one. Might be right. a fade right here, and uh, there's some confusion there. Uh, I don't it's know little, if that ball was for. Um, it looks like uh, it was for Jake. Yeah, yeah. It was a little high. Jake Walker. You know, watching a little bit. Of, I don't watch a lot of NFL now, but I did see the end of that game last night, and Oakland kept running two receivers together, and in the end, it worked out, and they won the game. But you know, you always wonder when you see this two receivers in the same the area. Call athletes, senior athletes report to the scoreboard. Yeah, the, the nemesis for the Crusaders and you know, this, this season are some athletes, of the big plays players, happened against Pinewood as well. Had some big plays against the, uh, the Crusaders. They still prevailed, but they got to limit those. We'll take a timeout here, our last timeout of the half. Time out on the uh, field. Coach Fields wants to get organized. 35.7 seconds left in this first half. Edmund Burke 27, 21, Trinity 7. We'll be right back. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you'll get a lifetime warranty on the compressor. Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Last and last and last. We're back here at Cleve Warnock Field with 35.7 seconds left as the team comes out for the play, get some last final direction. And David Coleman brings the offense out. Basically got two plays before the half's over. That's right. We gotta make it happen here. A little confusion I don't there know. as they come out. I, I, I would like one across the middle if he can get time to throw it. There's a fade. And yeah, there's a touchdown. Great grab by Gabe Meadows. Wow. Great grab. He had two guys on him, but he just went in and took it up from a senior night. That's a great play by the senior. That's a crucial play. It makes the score Edmund Burke 21, Trinity 13. That's what we needed. I tell you, it's the, the Crusaders have been moving up down the field, too. So it's not like they're just shooting ourselves in the foot. Really, the difference is the interception. Um, and then a failure to score down there when we had the chance. And he got, he that was a good, right good through there. Colin. And that'll make the score. Edmund Burke 21, Trinity 14, with 30.1 seconds left in the second quarter here at Cleve Warnock Field. Replace your old appliances today with brand new gas appliances for zero out of pocket and zero down. The CFW Natural Gas will just add it to your bill. Start saving today. The CFW Natural Gas is a proud sponsor of our offensive and defensive players of the game. All right, folks, We've got 30 seconds left. Chris Sather's gonna have to kick the ball off and let's hope the defense will come out and stuff them and get to the half. Yeah, this is one where I, I'm sure they'll try to kick that thing. He's not huddling them up this time. Well, maybe he is, John Hart, we don't know, let's see. Nope, <laughs> he's just gonna go with the regular, regular deal. They got a single man back. 
Well, let's see, they're going to go back now because they weren't concerned. On the kickoff for the Crusaders. Uh, I think you'll see another one of those high kicks and try to get a, uh, another fair catch, hopefully. It looks like they're going to try to run this one. And uh, number four, and it's a great play there. Number four, Tyson Post on the return. I believe that was. Uh, that's like uh, that, number six, uh, Josh, Josh Rice, Rice in on that play. That was a nice play because he went down real quick. So, you know, hey, if I'm Evan Burke here, they run the ball for a living, and they've had some big plays running. I just run it and take my chances that we don't tackle them. I don't know that yeah, you'll I, see them try to throw anything. I like to see that here. that play where they had that long uh, <laughs> touchdown run with our defense. But looks like they might just uh, go to the half. It looks like they're going to yeah, be satisfied are. with going to the half uh, with a 21-14 lead here at Cleve Warnock yeah. Field on senior night. It's Edmund Burke 21, well, down, Trinity 14 as we go to half. At Morris Bank, we understand that your personal finances and banking experiences can be stressful. We also know that it doesn't have to be that way. That's why for over 60 years, we've dedicated ourselves to providing common sense banking to people just like you. Even when I started working here, there was a definite vibe that you felt when you walked in the door from the music that you're always gonna hear playing to the hello, good to see you, welcome, how can we help you? You know, it's just a different experience when you bank here. We work hard to combine the latest online mobile technology and top-notch customer service that allows us to do just that. We realize our customers have choices, but what sets us apart is the personal service that we provide that they may not receive at larger institutions. We like to make you feel at home and we like to make the process as easy as possible when you're banking with us. But we're not focused on helping just our customers. We are equally dedicated to supporting the community we are a part of. Just this year alone, we've logged thousands of community service hours and provided significant financial support to the communities we serve. Something that sets us apart at Morris Bank is what we give back to the communities in which we serve. And as the communities continue to grow, that brings more business and more industry into the area. And it's just this circle effect of, of giving back and, and receiving what the community can offer. We want to make sure you have the best banking experience possible. Come see us or give us a call to find out what makes Morris Bank different because we're banking on you. As our senior football players are taking their field, we'd like to welcome you to Trinity Christian School's 2017 Fall Senior Night. Tonight we recognize all the seniors participating in our fall sports. Each student athlete will be escorted to the field by his or her parents while our headmaster, Stan Cooey, will recognize them individually and present a rose to the mother of each senior being honored. We extend a very special TCS welcome to all of our alumni, parents, faculty, and friends of our 2017-2018 seniors. Our first senior tonight is Chase Altry. Chase has been escorted tonight by his parents, Kenny and Natalie Altry. He has attended Trinity since the seventh grade. He participates in football and baseball. Some of his awards and accomplishments include all region honors in football in the 10th and 11th grade year, and first team all state honor in football as a junior. He's achieved all region honors in baseball his junior year, and he plans to pursue a degree in veterinarian science. Chase attends Oakley Grove Church. Ladies and gentlemen, Chase Autry. Our next senior is Will Clardy. Will's being escorted tonight by his parents, Rick and Wendy Clardy. He has attended Trinity since the ninth grade. Will has participated in football, basketball, baseball, soccer, and track. Some of his awards and accomplishments include captain of the football team and high honor roll. He is a member of the Beta Club, the Orange Youth Leadership, and the Citizens Bank Advisory Council. He plans to attend Mercer University. After college, Will plans to serve in the United States Army. He attends Pine Forest United Methodist Church. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Will Clardy. Our next singer tonight is William Gay. Will is being escorted tonight by his parents, Evan and Molly Gay. Will has attended Trinity since K-4. He has participated in football, wrestling, and golf. Some of his awards and accomplishments include All-Region in football, Defensive Player of the Year his junior year, State Champion in Wrestling his 10th grade year, and he is the current state champion in the 138-pound weight class for wrestling. In high school, William has maintained a 4.0 GPA. His future plans include attending Georgia Tech University and pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering. He attends Pine Forest United Methodist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, William Gay. Our next senior is Matt Coleman. Matt is being escorted tonight by his parents, Randall and Mary Lee Coleman, and his mother, Ann Reeves. He has attended Trinity since the eighth grade. He participates in football, wrestling, track, and golf. Some of his awards and accomplishments include All-Region Football, second highest grade point average in the 11th grade, and the Crusader Award in wrestling. His future plans include attending the University of Georgia to pursue a degree in sports nutrition. Matt attends First Baptist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Coleman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next senior, Griffin Hill. Griffin's being escorted tonight by his parents, Stephen and Louise Hill. He has attended Trinity since K-4, and he participates in football, wrestling, and track. Some of his awards and accomplishments include four-time region runner-up in wrestling, all-region honorable mention in football, and he maintains a 4.0 GPA. He is currently finishing up his Eagle Scout rank in the Boy Scouts. His future plans include attending Georgia Tech to pursue a degree in aerospace engineering. Griffin attends Delta Baptist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, Griffin Hill. Our next senior tonight is Whit Mason. Whit is being escorted tonight by his parents, Jay and Jay Mason. Whit has attended Trinity since K-5. He has participated in football, baseball, basketball, and track. Some of his awards and accomplishments include being selected in the 2017 to be the Oconee EMC Washington, D.C. Youth Tour. He was named 2016 Heart of Georgia All-Star Offensive Player of the Year. And he holds Trinity football single season and career passing record. His future plans include attending Georgia College and State University to pursue a business degree to become an attorney. Whit attends Pine Forest United Methodist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, Whit Mason. <laughs> Next we have Gabriel Meadows. Gabe has been escorted tonight by his parents, Rusty and Christian Meadows. Gabe has attended Trinity since K-3. He has participated in football, basketball, track, soccer, and golf. Some of his awards and accomplishments include being named to various all-region and all-state teams. And Gabe is the current TCS Wendy, Wendy's Male High School Heisman Award winner. He is the current state champion in the 4x400 relay, and he's on the five-time state championship track team. His future plans include attending either Barry College, Carson Newman, or Suwannee College to play football and pursue a degree in physical therapy. Gabe attends Cross Point Community Church. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Meadows. <laughs> Let's welcome Jack Ferris. Jack is being escorted by his parents, Michael and Candy Ferris. He has attended Trinity since K-4. He participates in football, basketball, and track and field. Some of his awards and accomplishments include being named to the All-Region football team his junior year, being the state runner-up in the 300-meter hurdles his junior year, and he's on the five-time state championship track team. He's also a current member of the Marsh Bay Leadership Advisory Council. His future plans include attending Georgia Southern University to pursue a degree in engineering and information technology. Jack attends Dudley Baptist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Ferris. <laughs> Next on the field is Keon Taylor. He's been escorted tonight by his parents, JT and Melanie Taylor. He's attended Trinity since the ninth grade where he has participated in football, wrestling, and soccer. Some of his awards and accomplishments include being the fourth in the state in wrestling, being a three-time offense and defense All-American, and he's a member of the Young American Foundation. His future plans include attending college and pursuing a lifelong call into the ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, Keon Taylor. <laughs> and our final senior tonight on the football team is Chris Young. Chris is being escorted tonight by his parents, Brandon Susan Young. He has attended Trinity since K-5. 
He was participated in football, wrestling, tennis, the praise band, one at, and literary. Some of his awards and accomplishments include being the 2017 South Georgia Teen Talent Boys Solo winner, and he's a member of the United States United Way Youth International Council. He's a Hugh O'Brien um, Leadership Award winner, Lawrence Youth Leadership Class, and Citizens Bank Advisory Council member. His future plans include attending Mercer University to pursue a degree in mechanical and electrical engineering. Chris attends Blackville Church of God. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Young. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me honor these football seniors one more time. Hi, I'm Christy Sims with Barry Walker Insurance Agency right here in Dublin, Georgia, your nationwide agent. And I want to invite you to come by 1009 Bellevue Avenue and let's talk saving you some money. If you're like me and my family, we need to save as much money as we can. And with insurance rates going up everywhere, it's time to take out that policy and let's get it reviewed. So call me now at 272-6010 and put me to work, putting more money in your family's pocket. I'm Christy Sims and I want to work for you. Always remember, Nationwide is on your side. And we're back here to start the second half at Cleve Warnock Field. Got a lot of senior, excitement here, baby. That's right. On senior night, it's Edmund Burke 21, Trinity 14. And Edmund Burke will be kicking off to start the second half. Temperatures falling, but the nerves are rising. Another. And we're doing another. We got it. We got it. We got it back. We got it back. We recovered it. No, we got it. We actually got it. Nope. They're saying that they got it. I would have sworn I saw Griffin yep. in his hands. Maybe not. You know, they came out, and you called it earlier, uh, and they did it there. They they kicked the one earlier, and All they did it again. In the it's all right. So our defense is out there. And Edmund Burke comes to the line of scrimmage. See what we they got come in here. that same type formation. Let's see if we made some adjustments. They go with the. Go, 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 go. They run number four, Tyson Post, on a little speed sweep. Tyler, <coughs> Tyler Easton, I'm sorry. Party. Get a little push Chase by the Austin. offensive line. Yep. Six yard pickup. Gain of four on the play to bring up six. Defense has got met together. This is a time for a turnover here, John yeah, Mark. We need to come up with a lot of big ones all year round, and they're going to do that same little play to number four, and he's up close to a first down. Four, Tyson Post from the carry. Right down by Gideon Meadows and Whitten Mason. Yeah. Looks like it's close. I don't. Yeah, it's third and third and they're going to foul third and short. short. It's just two down territory. We need to get a big push right here. They're going to measure. Good official timeout for measurement. I don't think they need a measurement. He's yep. gonna take a measurement right here, so we'll have a little walk out. You just don't see measurements near as much as you used to, John Mark. Let's see if this is this is a. I mean, you're you can just eyeball it here. You can tell it's gonna be short. Yeah, it looks short to me. And it is. It's short by about. Six inches, just like we thought it would be. Our fine. That's just going to be a little bit short. I mean, third down for the Spartans. Our fine uh, chain gang doing a great job again, led by Rod Williams out there. Judd Drake, I believe, might have been at the other end there. Was that Judd? <laughs> Could have. I can and they're going to go to the fullback. And he got stuff. And he got stuff. Out of the line. I don't looks know if he like, made it. Looks like they got a good spot he there. They didn't have to get much. Carry. Looks like they're going to give it to him there. He got the forward, the forward progress, I guess. Yeah. yeah. First down. It was a good push by the defense, but it looked like he got about a yard. And he didn't need but six inches. We saw a good dose of uh, Collar Smith and uh, number 10 and number four, Tyson Post. Number three, uh, Kyler Deason for the, the Spartans. Here we go. There goes quarterback keeps it. He pulled it back out. Good play by Whit Mason. 
stops him after a pickup of about three yards. Keeper brought down by 14, Whit Mason. The gain of three on the play, up the second down and seven for the Spartans. That's gonna put us at a second and seven. This is crucial time of the game right here, John Mark. It'll be a good time for a turnover. Look for another sweep. Let's see if they uh, set up for it here. Looks like they got defensively to set up for a sweep. They put a man in motion. They give it the to middle, the fullback, and, and there's missed the, arm. Missed the there's tackle. a missed tackle again. Right at the line of scrimmage. We had him, and someone just didn't lock up there, John Mark. Yeah, that's that was a reoccurring theme the first half. That's exactly to right. To win this ball game, we got to wrap him up. We do. we got to make plays. It's one thing if you're going and trying to strip, but we're just missing tackles. Oh, first down. Need to see if the hurt clears or not. That's what he's got to look and see if he's, guy, if he's going to take the arrow or take the vert. First and 10 from the Trinity, 27 yards. Yeah, this is a type of offense where you got to attack the fullback, you got to attack the quarterback, and you got to attack the pitch man. That's right. And you got to have somebody there at all three levels. Well, you got to hit hard and you got to hit hard and lock up. This may be a, a pass play here, first and 10. No, nope. Same play. And a uh, good play there. Uh, two guys in on that. Three, Kyle on the carry. Kalen Williams came from the back guy, and I believe that was, I believe that was actually uh, Gideon uh, Meadows made that play, and Kalen came in to finish it up, but that was a nice play from the linebacker yeah, the, spot this, by Gideon. This, the second half against Bullock, they basically shut their running game down, and hopefully the Crusaders will bow that back and right. start penetrating this offensive line and get some, some There losses. goes that quick pitch out to the, and he's got numbers out there. Got a good and hit. he's running hard. He's only 5'8", 165, but he does run uh, fat, uh, run hard, John Mark. Yeah, they're, they're doing a good job of third down conversions yeah. in this game. Well, they got numbers out there on the, on the edge against us again. Dr. Jackson Fordham is a proud sponsor of local high school football on TV35. Dr. Fordham is located in his new office at 204 Fairview Park Drive. His experienced staff is ready to serve you today. So call and make an appointment at 272-4051. For all your dental needs, count on Dr. Jackson Fordham. stuff is on fire. Someone better call the fire department. Woo -woo. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. Bro, your stuff is on fire. Someone better call the fire department. Uh, yeah, you should call the fire department. This is your stuff. More people save money by combining their home and auto with State Farm. Here to help life go right. They're third and four. You know they're gonna they're gonna uh, run two plays here. So if we don't get it on the third down, it'd be a nice time for a negative play. We haven't had a lot of negative plays tonight from our defense. Another motion. Oh, there's some. There's some. There's a negative play from uh, Edmund Burke. A flag on the play. It'd be a legal procedure. Call Put them back in the third and nine. That's a a, a big miscue yards. right there. Yeah, we from we third definitely know this is four down territory for them and. That definitely helps us. We got to. That's right. Defense has got to have a stop here. You got to figure they're still going to be looking to run the ball unless they try something, something uh, play action type. But they they haven't dropped back and thrown the ball yet. Yeah, most of the trick plays is the quarterback keeping it or a misdirection. And, uh, there goes a the speed sweep, and then they give it to the fullback. And, uh, that's he how got, you hit. He got blown up there. by, it looked like it was uh, Matt Coleman there. That was no, it Gideon. was Gideon Meadows again, I'm sorry. Fourth down. Yeah, I was said somebody at halftime, I was like, I think Gideon may come out the second half here, that linebacker, and make some good hits. And this is a need, big play need, right we here. We need to see some more of that, shooting those gaps and, yep. and, and popping that running back at the line. Fourth and 11, it's a no-brainer to go for it here. We got to maintain right here and make them make the play. And they're going to pass it. And there's a man open. It. There's the interception. Oh! And they're stupid. Pass kicked off by number 17, Will Cody. Nice interception by Will there. If he'd knocked the ball down, we'd have picked up 10 yards. But 
If he hadn't staggered there when he caught it, he might have been able to go for uh, yeah, even I, more I yards. He, so. I thought he had a chance to take some back, so we'll Probably. see. That's a big, a big, a big stop right there, John Mark. Yeah, we had uh, that onside kick followed with a good defensive stand. That's what we sort of expected to see this second half. Our our defense come out and blow that back back so did against Bullock. David Coleman brings the offense out for the first time here uh, in the second half with 8:43 to go in the third quarter, and Trinity trailing 21-14. Golly, Carson, man! And we got motion. And we have movement on the line there, John Mark. Yeah, we uh, we don't like to see that <laughs> deep in our territory. This is probably one of the worst field positions we've had so far. You don't want to get too pass happy. You don't want to obviously want to keep the ball on the ground, try to penetrate, get more field position. Not good. With the penalty. This will put us in a first and 15. In this situation here, really what you want to do, John Mark, is get it down to a second and seven, second and six. Now, I tell you, Matt Coleman's been eight. doing a great job at fullback, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't I doubt would. it. I'm going to hand the ball to him and let him go at it. Well, there goes your call. You made the call. Unfortunately, we Unfortunately. forgot to block. We didn't have a lot of blocking there for him, and it wasn't, it wasn't anywhere for Matt to go right there. Second down, the Crusaders. He might have picked up half a yard there. He put us in a second and long 14. Left, left, yeah, left, yeah, left. Definitely a, another run set, but we like to throw a little quarterback rollout pass. Go a little dive there, and uh, William Gay on it. And the one runs room there for William. This is a dangerous area. We need a, we need a big play here, but we also don't need a turnover. And one of the looks like uh, Jack Ferris. She definitely has a height. And yeah, we haven't been able to get the ball to Jack tonight, and this might not be a bad time to go at him. He has a definite height advantage. Um, it's one of those, I mean, you just want to get get a good throw to a spot where you can get the first down. Well, you have um, a big height advantage. Number two, Mason Boswell, who's covering him, is five foot four, and Jack's about six two. He's there. So, he throws it. He's there. I see him. Ooh. He said, That's one of those passes where he just, it's hard to yeah. you know, throw, a, throw across his body and. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, you hold your breath. You had William Gay there, but that's also a play where you see a defensive player flashing through there and going in for a quick pick six. Um, so well, we'll, we'll line we'll, up to pump for the first time tonight, John Mark. You know, this is not what we wanted to see on our first drive. Nope. It's our first three and out of the night, and Whit Mason will line up at his uh, own three yard line, getting ready to punt. And Whit's been doing a, a great job of punting the ball as well. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's the end over end. It's going to give us good roll, and that's going to end up rolling dead at the 42 yard line. So that'd be a 44 yard net punt, which is uh, helps us. They still have good field position, but we did flip the field a little bit there, John Mark. And we'll take a break right here with the score: Edmundburg 21, Trinity 14, with 6:57 left to go in the third quarter. Nissan Truck Month drives the biggest savings for you at Dublin Nissan. Dublin Nissan has over $5,000 in savings on the Titan. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. 
Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. And we're back here, John Mark, with 6.57 to go in the third quarter. And uh, Edmund Burke starting their second drive of the second half. Got them in tight again. And defense is just like a... They gave a fullback dive there. And we had it covered up. We had Keon Taylor in there. Keon came out fired up. Matt Coleman and we need once again Gideon Meadows in there. We're starting to get a little bit of traction on, on defense. The senior leadership is definitely needs to step up here in this third quarter. But this team's a hard running team and we we have we have very little margin for error down seven points in the third quarter. There goes the speed sweep. Oh, it that might have been a little hole. Looked like a hold out there on number three. Yeah, number three basically tackled uh, William Gay. I don't know how you could not uh, call a flag on that. Yep. William did a great job Good turning that back in by getting that penetration. Line. He made the play without making the play. But it, it Another looked like third that could have been along. holding. And that's, third down and nine. So far, we're, we're heading in the right direction this half with defense. Yeah. If you put a running team at third and longs, and they're, in, they're in a position right now where I don't think it's four down territory if we can stop them right here and keep it long. So the yeah, uh, defense has got to be real fired up. And they're going to come out with a pass. And there's a big, big penetration there. Senior Chris Young was in there. Quit Mason. Yeah. Wes Mason was, he was trying behind him. And I was, I was thinking he was about to knock the ball out of his hands, but he turned up quick enough before yep. he got the big hit. Yep. Keon Taylor was coming down on him. He didn't have a chance to do anything. That was the best defensive series we've had all night, John Mark. You can get a team down third and long. You definitely have a chance. Oh, was, they're short. One on them, the kick, the punt here. We've been successful too, blocking punts. Did a good job against Bullock. There's the end over end kick. And we got a we got a we got a wall set up here. Jake Walker's got an opening. He's got an opening. Oh what a hit! Oh no way! They're gonna call. You can't call that! Oh my goodness! It's a great play. That, that, I, I would think Coach Fields will probably argue this one with the ref, but they're going to call it. They call that defenseless. If, he would guess if the it was play, defenseless. If the if the player's defenseless. Yeah, we got a little fired up there. <laughs> but anyhow, he Gideon came over and made a huge hit right there, and they're going to claim it was just. Defenseless, you know, that's the, the, the softening of the game over the years. They've changed some of this stuff and has made it real hard for these guys to go out here and play the game well, and that they played the way they played for years and they've changed the rules on them and just made it tough. That, and it's, and it's, uh, it's, it's one of those calls that he, he did, they're, they're talking about it. I guess it's, I, as far as the rules, I mean, it's a little bit different than a college. You know, well, it's, I can it, tell you the fans aren't very happy. They're all no, and it's a and saying, uh, too tight, too tight. But it looks like it's, it's the, the 15 yard pin is going to stand. Coach Fields is not out there arguing with the refs. He, he did talk he's to him. Looks like the offense is getting ready to run another play. Yeah, they haven't come out and said what the call is yet, but we sort of know what it is. Well, I don't yeah, know. We've had, uh, two I don't punt know returns. if they can figure out how to mark this. They're going to let every referee touch the ball. We've had two punt returns call back. That could have been a difference. You know, that's a huge it, difference. It used to be if the head was in front of the body, and you can make that hit. But it was a blind sight. But it's just right there. Yep. Well, hopefully they'll fire up the Crusaders. They they uh. They set up a great wall, man. That was yep. just a good looking from it up was. here from the booth. And you could just see it develop. Let's we'll see if they can make something out of this drive here. And 
I tell you what, they gave it right to get him, get him right back in the game right there. And uh, he picked up five yards right there. Come back out. You got a guy that's real excited like that. A lot of times the best thing to do is give him the ball, get him back going, and uh, get his nerves, nerves calmed down a little bit. And we're down to four minutes in the third quarter here. We need to try to get one in. And we've been doing a good job driving against them just uh, I hope they can keep the penalties down. There we go. Davey's going to keep it. And he's got some room. And it's a nice run. Nice play by Jay Walker just getting in the way there. Not putting his hands on him. And it's a nice block. And a nice little keeper by Jake, by David there. And it'll give us a first and 10 at the. Yeah, that was a good, good. He faked the belly to the fullback and kept it. Rode it down. That's what this offense is about. You get a quarterback right. to make a good read. It's tough to yep. stop, and then he stops and throws a, a, a six. That's right. For a, for a pass. That's right. Right now, I'd make them stop us running the ball. You know, we got ourselves in a little bit of trouble earlier on one of those drives by passing on first down, and they haven't showed they can stop us running it yet. There's well, a, uh, he picked up a yard or two, but it was a it was a mishap between the Coleman's there. I'm not sure if he, well, uh, he didn't get it in there to Matt or. It was one of those he he didn't know if he wanted to keep it or not. And Zero percent financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The city of Dublin natural gas. Hey, are you searching for a great used car, truck, van, or SUV? Head on over to Dublin Auto Sales, where the selection and value are sure to fit your budget. See Wayne Kemp, Bill Topping, Alan Fields, TJ DeRochi, or Freddie Cook today. Dublin Auto Sales, celebrating another great year in business. Now proud to be on both sides of North Jefferson Street with our new truck and SUV line. You'll also find Dublin Auto Sales at 1705 Telfair Street in Dublin. Selection, value, and bank rate or in-house financing is available. So financing is never an issue. Dublin Auto Sales, if you're searching for a great used car, truck, van, or SUV, head on over to Dublin Auto Sales. We're second and nine here at the Edmund Buck 39. Jet sweep would be good. I think it would be a good play here on the outside. Looks like we got everyone packed in. Yep. There it right goes. Now. And there it goes. And Jake's got a little bit of room there. Nice cut by Jake. And that was a good, good tackle there. That was a good form tackle by number 11, Gatlin Jenkins, a senior for Edmund Burke. But it, that doesn't take away from it being a, an outstanding. Got a good spot. <laughs> yep. Well, it was. A, he got it. Yeah. He, he just hit it. He made a good tackle and took it. He him hit back. and drove it back. But it was a good seven yard gain there. Puts us in a third and short. And we're in four down territory. We said that a lot tonight, hadn't we, John Martin? And you don't want to punt the ball when you're down seven, especially when you're past the 40-yard uh, line, the way we're running the ball. No blocking there. Um, yeah, the linebacker just came through the gap and yep. blew up the play. Heads up play by the Spartans. He did pick up. It looked like he picked up about half a yard out of that. Put us in a fourth and two right here, John Mark. It's one of those big plays in the season. Yeah, I mean, earlier we've seen Coleman roll out and keep it or throw it. And I think they'll go tight again and do the same type of uh, formation from be a good play to do a roll out. Well, we got Kalen uh, Williams jumps. Emma Burke is happy with that call. Yep. 
Yeah, the eagle, uh, play, illegal play, procedure right there on Trinity. Changes, got a uh, excited. changes the, your play call from I could run it or throw it, and now it's uh, you got to throw. That's right. He brings in the package with uh, Jake Walker and Jack Ferris and Walker Payne come back in. Make a good decision here and hopefully we can get the ball and get the first down. Yeah, that we've had two or three plays this game that we needed third and short and we had a mental error. That's right. That's a first down, a great pass by David Coleman. Hit his, hit Walker Payne. He threw a bullet? That was, that was a bullet. You know. He, that was the uh, Walker, right? That was, that was Walker Payne. He just, he sort of stepped into that throw and whipped that ball over there. It's good to see the comments from a young quarterback like that. First down and 10 from the Spartan 28 yard line. We go back to that, that tight formation here. And there goes Matt Coleman once again. He's getting a big push Matt off Coleman that defensive line right eight. now for Edmund Burke. Yeah, that left side is, is uh, having a tough time. Second down and 10 for Trinity. Obviously, they're, they're making the read, it's a run, and they're just hitting the, the gaps hard and stuffing them. So we'll be in a second and 10 here. Uh, and I don't know that we're gonna get this playoff before the end of the quarter, which is not the worst thing. We get it off, there goes a little sweep, nice cut back by. There's gonna face be a face mask, it looks like. Looks like it may be a face mask in there at the end of the third quarter. Nice run by Gabe Meadows down to the 19 yard line. Looks like we're going into the fourth quarter, Don, after this and flag here. That's to be a, that'd be a face mask. It'll give us the first down. William Gay tries to bounce it out back, and it's going to be a stop there. And that'll end the third quarter with Edmund Burke leading Trinity 21 to 14. We'll be back in just a moment. Jeff Graham and the staff at CSS Complete Site Work Services is proud to be a part of Trinity Crusader football. And we wish you the best on and off the field. CSS works with companies large and small. We have done projects all over the United States, including Fort Benning, Fort Stewart, Publix, Walmart, the East Lawrence High School track improvements, and the Hugh Gillis Public Fish and Lake Repair. Call CSS today at 272-9990. Complete site work services in Dublin. And we're back here, uh, John Mark Butler and Don Carswell to start the fourth quarter. Uh, Trinity driving down 21 to 14. We are second and 10 at the 14 yard line, John Mark. Quick pass, there he is. He's There's open. a fade. Oh, he pushed him. He was, uh, well, it was, hmm. I believe it was out of the back of the end zone. Uh, he threw it just a little bit long. That was a, that was a good play. I mean, that was the corner pass. Third down and 10 for the Crusaders. That'll put us in a third and 10 here. And we really need a touchdown. We don't, we, we missed a field goal earlier and we really don't need a field goal here, John Mark. So, um. Yeah, we can get a first down, but it's like, we don't want a first down, we want six here. I still like the, uh, wow. There's a fight for it. No, he's down. And four progress was down and uh, Gabe, Gabe Meadows, Meadows is down here. about the seven yard line. He's gonna put us in about a fourth and four. Down to the seven yard line. And it uh, looks like we go are gonna be going for it here, Tom Mark. I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you the fourth. trips and earlier we was working for getting the short yardage. Uh, yeah, that's maybe what, maybe the, the player we may just stuff it. 
Yeah, it's a little bit four yards here. Um, down, you know, to be honest with you, I don't know about, I may want to call a timeout and see how they're lining up. We'll see what we're doing here. And that's exactly what Coach Fields has done, John Martin. Yeah, that's a good call. Open. He is wide open, yeah. Um, so, Trinity will take a timeout here with 11.01 to go in the fourth quarter. Uh, fourth and four at the seven yard line, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Olivia. And we want to invite you to Bailey Custom Flooring. Come and check out our great selection of hardwood. We also have a great selection of carpets to choose from. And you'll love our great selection of ceramic tile. For all your floor covering sales and installation needs, count on Bailey Custom Flooring. And you can call us to make an appointment at 478-290-6084. And we're back here, John Mark. This is going to be a tough call. It is. Coach Fields has put a play in. I tell you, if they can just get forward progress and just pick up five, six we yards, come out we, in a, we get a, in a pistol down. look here with a snap to the quarterback, and they're going to roll the quarterback out and let him. David tries to get rid of it. He almost caught it. No he got close to it. Yep, no flags. Well, it's not it's not a bad call. Uh, defense is defense is doing a good job of uh, That's right. holding the last two series, so hopefully we we'll, we'll can keep them back here. That's right. It'll put him and Burke will take over at the seven yard line. That's one of those uh, plays there where it developed but you gotta throw it. You might have you go back on film and probably watch it. Just throw a spot pass to that end zone a little yeah. high. And, and just let him try to make a try, play. And try to run underneath it. It's a tough throw, though. To make a yeah. run. Um, is it, just like I said, like earlier, when we made a play, um, they come out a little bit different look here with twins out. They're going to give it to the fullback. God, we got to wrap up. There you go. And uh, Daniel Lindo with the tackle. There was a, a miss in the backfield by William Gay. Um, they picked up two yards. Looked like we're going to have a loss there, John. Yeah, we're we're definitely getting back there, making a contact with the with the running back. We've done that several times. We continue to just make contact and not wrapping up. That's right. We gotta we gotta grab him at the line of scrimmage and then just not nail him from all sides and take him down. Let's get behind this defense. Still got a long second down. We got to make a good stop here. That's right. So second and second and eight, and you know they're going to run it. I think up the middle again. Looks like. Oh, nope. Might be a delay there. Looks like delay something. Game. The flag on the field. And that's uh, the right the right flag. Call a delay a game there. Put them behind the uh, behind the chains here. Put them in a second and 13, John Mark. Now bring up the second down and 13. Trap, trap, But you know what that means. Yeah. They're gonna run it. They're gonna run it. <laughs> yeah, they'll run it. Probably third and long when they try to it pass might it, be, but, but yeah. deep in their territory. I think it'd be an upset of the century if they were to throw the ball. But you gotta be ready for it, just like you said. There it goes. And that's a, a big pile up there at the line. There's a flag comes in. Hold it. Holding. Flag on the field. It looks like holding uh, where you'd have holding. No? No, it's a face mask. Face mask called against the Crusaders. You got to be kidding me. That's it's an inter it, if you can if you can find a penalty to call it the worst time, that's the one. Yep. That's a oh, that's an incidental. Incidental. Oh, wow. okay. But it'll be second and eight. They'll get to play the down over. So they picked that five yards up that they gave us. We gave it back to them, John Mark. But more than that, it runs another 45 seconds off the clock. Yeah, they definitely want to make us a long, sustainable drive here. Up oh, number 10. They got him. Uh, he looks like he's gotten close to the first. He's got a, it looks like they stopped him just right at, right short of the 15. It'll put us in a third, a third and short here, John Mark. About a third and two, third and two and a half. I think I've been seeing the last few this third down 
and short yards as they tend to bootleg that quarterback. Yeah. Well, he's either going to give it to number 10 or, like you said, pull it out and try to run it himself. If I was them as hard as that number 10 run, I'd just give it to him. And uh, yeah. we got to be ready on that we gotta, line. We need to make a tackle and knock the ball out they, here. They spread us out a little bit here with receivers, and sure enough, they we give did. it to him. And uh, he did not make it. He didn't make it. We stopped him right there in his dead That's a stop if it holds up here. Daniel Lindell right in the middle of that. Yep. Along with Keon Lindell, Taylor. That'll put them in no a fourth measurement and three. Here, Don. No, no measurement here, Don. No measurement here. No. It'll put them in a fourth and three. Do not jump. Scream at him, don't jump. Scream at him, don't jump. Got something. We need somebody else in there. There they are. <laughs> so right here, we're going to, we should get good field position. They could, do a, just fake. Be they could smart. do a fake here. This is they're a good time to do a, a fake. They're not doing a fake from their 15. Oh! Safety, safety, That's a safety. Safety, safety, safety. That was one of the, that was a mishap that we needed to happen there. Number 27, Carson Hall gets in there to put the touch on the. Uh, kicker is just a bad snap. Special teams, it happens. Well, you know, you know school. you're sitting there and you're back of your end zone and you see them coming at you. You think. You don't just think about getting the ball and putting the ball. You see, <laughs> yep. there's a lot of other things to think about. Well, a lot of a lot of bad things happen on special teams in high school. We, missed, right. a, we missed a kick, it happens. And uh, this is one that turned for us and it puts us on a, on a number where now we can take the lead with a touchdown. Announcing the Dublin Civitan Fall Fair, set for October 17th through the 21st. Midway opens at 6 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Don't miss a great family fun with Midway provided by Forever Young Amusements. Bring the whole family out for great family fun during the Dublin Civitan Club's Fall Fair. October 17th through the 21st. Gates open at 6 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, Saturday at 1 p.m. Unlimited armbands are good every Every day. Look for discount coupons throughout the community and save Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And we'll see you at the Dublin Civitan Fall Fair, October 17th through the 21st. No matter who your team is on Friday night, let's go Crusaders! Go Irish! Go Falcons! Go Raiders! Your Chevy team that can't be beat is... Go! Get up to 20% off MSRP on Malibu. Dublin Chevrolet! Girls, one more time. Dublin Chevrolet! The only dealer you will ever need! They know a winning team when they see one. We got eight minutes to go and this until the game's over, and this is where we need some good play calling and yeah. offensive line just needs to play heads up. This is this is where you practice Monday through Thursday hard as you can. And Some confusion here. I believe the free happens. kick's from the 20, not the 25. So they got to back them up. And so. Are they going to punt it here? Yeah. Uh, yeah the ball's on 20. Get up, get up, get up. Another, another onside. You can watch another onside kick as well, like they did earlier. Yep. I don't know if they would do it with a short field position, but. I mean, obviously, we got we got, we got, okay. obviously they're going to try to protect the lead, I would think, yeah. and kick it Well, I, hey, I, I, you called it earlier. I wouldn't put anything past them of squibbing it here. So they got a, we got our good hands guys out there. Just got to hold on to the ball. There you go. It gives us the ball. Gabe Meadows, Gabe Meadows with good hands. Uh, picks us up about 18 yards on the return. Great field position here, Don. Great it puts us in, we're in a good spot here. Eight minutes left and first and 10 for Trinity at the 45 yard line. All right. David Coleman comes in with the play. David. Has had an up and down game. He's they made some go, big they plays. Go, they had go. Ain't got time. Ain't got time. Ain't got time. I don't know if they're trying to run a play. What we're going to do? We had a little confusion we there. We definitely don't need to run timeouts here. We need to. Nope. 
We only have two left. We're going to do that quick dive to he, he's still run. Going. He did not yeah, down. A little quick whistle there. A little quick whistle there. He was still making forward progress, but it was a five-yard pickup. Yeah, I don't think they got to play and they wanted and Well, they didn't have the personnel. It looked like they had, uh, they wanted to go with a little bit heavier personnel there. But uh, hard running by Gideon Meadows. Uh, got us about four yards there. Put us in a second six at the 41. There goes some nice running by Matt Coleman. Gets he's going to be just short of first down. Right now, it's just old-fashioned football. Yeah, I meant to say I like your your nice pink shirt. And I see the cheerleaders will have the pink pom-poms. That's right. It's remember, folks. It's breast cancer awareness. Uh, cancer's touched just about all of us uh, in one way or another. And so, just think about those loved ones out there that have that have suffered, and uh, do what you can to uh, honor honor those. All right, we're back here at the line of scrimmage with third and one. Hand the ball off. There's Matt a big Matt opening Coleman. for Matt Coleman, and he's running hard, and he runs through a tackle. He's still and he's going. written down by number 11 at the five-yard line. <laughs> that was our time to run through some That's tackles. Matt's, Matt's been running hard all night, and uh, he finally broke one there. One of the seniors having a big play on senior night. Yeah, they, they showed a little arm tackle themselves that time. That's right, and he's just driving those legs, and Matt's not the fastest guy out there, but I, there's not many to run harder than him. And it's gonna put his first and goal at the five yard line. There's a mishap right there. Yeah, somewhere. That's, that's one of those situations where the in the quarterback, okay, and if there's a confusion the in the play. Too. Sometimes it's good the quarterback just to throw it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a situation where uh, David looked over the sideline before the play like he might have had some confusion. Yeah, we, we can't have, uh, we need every down inside yep. the 10. They, they did a good job a on our last series this close to the goal line, and we we didn't do a good job. I don't. We're down here again. Their defense in. has got to be getting a little bit tired because we've dominated this second I, half. I see. Uh, there goes the speed sweep, the gate. That's one of those, I don't know if he should have kept it out wide and get to the corner, but. It looked for a second like he might have an opportunity, but they just had the angle on him there and he wasn't going anywhere. So that's going to put us with a third and goal at the, Eight yard line. I'll tell you, the, the earlier they threw the ball twice to Jack Ferris. And it was just off a little bit, but I still think with his height advantage is there. That's right. Well, they, we'll see what the call is. Though. It might be a situation when they roll out. They rolled out, you know, against his body a couple times. They might roll out to the, they got a tight set here. So look for a fade to Jack. There's a little speed sweep that's covered up. It just, that's going to put us in a fourth and goal at the 11. I tell you, this is a tough game to get down here within the 15 yard line twice. We got, we got to three times. It we, three times. We, we, we had the interception earlier. And Coach Fields is going to take a timeout. It's 444 left in the fourth quarter. Edmundburg 21, Trinity 16. And remember, folks, replace your old appliances today with brand new gas appliances for zero out of pocket and zero percent financing. The City of Dublin Natural Gas will just add it to your bill. Start saving today. The City of Dublin Natural Gas is a proud sponsor of our offensive and defensive players of the game. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you'll get a lifetime warranty on the compressor. Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Last and last and last. And we're back, right. folks. We crowd is on its feet. 
We got a nail bottle here, baby. The play of the season right here, John Mark. Got motion here with Gabe. It looks like he's gonna throw it to Gabe. It is. Right there. Touchdown. That's it, touchdown. Great play. Touchdown. Will Clarity, senior Will Clarity. They ran the same play as earlier. It's there a lot. The tight ends are open a lot, and they finally right. took advantage of it. Well, they rolled, made it look like it was the same play as before, but then David turned around. And he made a great pass to Will Clarty, and Will made a great catch right at the goal line. And now we're going to go for two to try to get this thing to a three-point spread. It was a great call, John Mark. It looked like that other play, but then David stopped and spun, and there was, there he was right Why, there. Did we just burn our timeout? Timeout, take it on the field Ooh. by the Crusaders. That's wow. going to be our last timeout to get yeah, the right I play in the game I here. Evan, bite us. Evan Burke does have three timeouts left going into the Four minutes left, so hopefully That's we can. That's right. Hopefully we can get the two points here. Well, that timeout a while ago was uh, worked out for us, and you know one thing about timeouts, you never know. You don't want to look up, and you didn't use them, and one timeout wasn't going to make a well, difference. We, in we all saw, likelihood, we saw earlier there, there um, on their extra points, their kicker does have a leg, so. Obviously, we can get two points here. That's right. 23 21, and we can eliminate a field goal beating us. That's exactly right. So, there's, I mean, this is, is important. The seniors have got to be proud that they played hard tonight. Definitely. That's Cleveland, exactly right. Cleveland Field has been, ex it's been exciting. <laughs> We'll see, what, we'll see what Coach Fields has got drawn up here. He's got Gideon Meadows back at fullback and got Jack Ferris out here. And he's going to throw the fade to Jack. And a lot of a lot of contact out there, but they're going to say there was uh, it was incidental. Jack's going to plead his case. All right. Four minutes and 38 seconds left in the That's going to make it 22 21. Trinity. No matter who your team is on Friday night, let's go, Crusaders! Go, Irish! Go, Falcons! Go, Raiders! Your Chevy team that can't be beat is. Get up to 20% off MSRP on Equinox. Dublin Chevrolet! Girls, one more time. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. They know a winning team when they see one. Hi, I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. See the full line of exciting Can-Am products featuring the Can-Am Outlander line of ATVs. Outlanders outfit you with the best mix of performance, handling, and comfort, all at a price you can afford. Can-Am Outlanders, riding the trails, working the farm, or playing in the mud, nothing beats a Can-Am. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. And we're back here at Cleve Warnock Field. Trinity has just taken their first lead of the night. John Mark, 22-21 on a fourth down pass from David Coleman to Will Clardy. Uh, we failed on the extra point, two point conversion to try to make this a three point spread. Colin Crozier will be lining up to kick off. They look like they're set up for a return here. And there's another high kick. It's uh, angled over and uh, uh, there's a big hit down there. Um, they You'd like to hit onto the ball. No, was... Number two wanted to get tricky there. And, uh, Walker Payne came in with a big hit there. Guy not known for big hits. And he came down there and, lay, and laid his body in there, John Mark. He wanted to get that ball to pop out. And that's right. That's the, best, that's the best way to do it. That's exactly right. You jar it loose. Well, let's see how good our defense does. They they did a great job so far this half. Or this this half. Yeah, the whole really, half. You're right. They've really they've they've done they've a good job. Done a lot better. Run. They've done a lot better job of tackling. And uh, you're gonna see if uh, they might come out and try to throw the ball here. But I think they'll run it. And sure enough, their quarterback's gonna keep it. And we got Chase Autry, senior Trace Autry, senior Whit Mason in there on that play. Um, 
Our guys are getting up. They don't need to get too high, though. They got to stay focused here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely with this type of ball fence, you got to be disciplined. You got you got to hit the fullback, you got to hit the quarterback, and you got to watch that pitch. That's right. I look if, you don't, if you don't do all three, somebody's going to get loose. But That's right. Having yep. an offensive line, our defensive line, yeah, yep. they're doing a good job now penetrating. We I wouldn't keep... be surprised to see this quick pitch to number four here. Let's see if he goes in motion. Number three's in motion, and, and there it is. And they're going to call the hold. They didn't call yeah, earlier. They, got, they, they called, called the hold on Tyson Post it's there. It's the finally time to call the hold. Yep. They've been holding for like the last two or three times. And it's once good again, to see the, the referee call it. That's right. And once again, it was William Gay making yeah. that penetration, penetration, and making them <laughs> cut it back in. Penetration. We're making up words here. I, I feel like John Madden. <laughs> well, that's we, we've watched it up here, and you know, it's obviously it's hard to be a ref. You're gonna miss some calls, but he called that one at the right time for the Crusaders. That's gonna back them up, and this is a running team. And a running team, if you can put them in these long situations, we just have to be fundamentally sound on defense and, and not, get caught, not get caught up in any trick plays. There goes the quarterback. There's a, a great one-on-one -on -one tackle over there. Yeah, the, the engine level has definitely has been bumped up by the Gideon Meadows. I'm getting some help from one of my spotters. Uh, Gideon's played a big game out there. Well, the, one of the things uh, Trinity has done in the last uh, two or three games is they've been rotating a lot on defense, too, so getting some guys some rest. So hopefully it pays off. That's right. Well, we got to be fundamentally sound here, John Mark, because they're liable. There's going to be, they got to go down the field some, so you got to look for some kind of trick play. They, and our guys lock up on him. Great play there. Again, Keon Taylor, senior Keon Taylor, Daniel Lindo in there, and Matt Coleman. Matt Coleman did a great job there getting in there. It looks like. Punt save. It looks like they're going to punt. I would watch out. Now, they might face it here, John Mark. You called it a while ago, and they had a missed snap. Uh, I would be, once again, I'd play conservative. We don't have to return a kick. I don't, you know, but you're down by one point. They're thinking their defense can stop it. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Beat him. Wow. That's a, that's a, that's about a 10 yard punt. Yeah. Hey, we've had a change of events here in this fourth quarter. <laughs> that's right. And with 225 left here at Cleve Warnock Field, it's Trinity 22, Edmund Burke 21, and we'll take a break right here. Every morning, you're up at dawn to take care of the land you love. So are we. That's why Kubota dealers are the best at understanding what you need and sending you home with the perfect machine for the job. We know more than equipment. We know you. Freeman's Lawn and Garden. Call us at 272-2198. We're back here, John Mark. It's first and 10 for Trinity, leading 22-21 at the 30-yard line. I think we're going to get a dose of running right here and uh, running hard. And, uh, we, need a, we need at least uh, We need to get a first down. They got three, they got three timeouts. Yep, they burned their first timeout right there. Um, so that ran five seconds. Uh, William got tripped up there. Still enough time on the uh, clock here for them to actually make a stop and, and have That's a right. chance to beat us. So we get, we got to make some good sound calls here. That's right. We definitely, well, we gotta, need, to get, we definitely need another first down. That's exactly right. A, a first down here and the game's over with John Mark. And you can't be too conservative, but we've been able to run the ball all night. So I think you stick with your running. Yeah, Coleman, uh, that a good dose of uh, Coleman. And he's uh, this game. Hopefully, he can still have an opportunity here on this drive. I think you're going to be looking for either Matt Coleman or Gideon Meadows at fullback, and I would look for them to get the ball. They might, they might try a speed sweep, but I really think we've had the most success that we've had tonight is just running it up the gut 
And here's a situation where that senior laid in line up there. You got Chris Young, you got Chase Autry. Um, these guys are seniors and they know they're going out. You got Junior Kalen Williams. This is just a big, we need to have a big push right here. And they're going to run up the little quarterback. A great little keeper by David Coleman, a nine yard pickup there. It's going to put us about a yard short. And it's going to put us in a third and one right here. Yeah, that's while we get the opportunity, we'll uh, tell you one more time. Our seniors are Matt Coleman, number two. Gabe Meadows, number 11. Whit Mason, number 14. Will Clardy, number 17. Keon Teller, number 18. Jack Ferris, number 20. William Gay, number 25. Griffin Hill, number 30. Chase Autry, number 34. And Chris Young, number 66. Great night for the seniors. They have come through. They've done a great job blocking. I, I think we're gonna uh, just play some old hog football right here and go man on man and just try to get a push. If we can get a push right here, get this one yard, John Mark. You might even see a sneak right here. I wouldn't. Third down and one for the Crusaders. Let's get up for this offense. Need a big push from uh, Craig Hightower at center. And that was a great run. There was a guy, it looked like they almost had uh, Gideon in the backfield, but he picked up four yards. They, you gotta keep, you gotta they, keep pushing it. We want, we want to go. We want. So they're gonna run their. They're gonna I save go, that last time out. We need to get three yards, four yards, and man, another third and two, third and one, and just keep pounding it. That's right. That's what you want from this drive. Yeah, one time out. So we just need to run it, run it, and be smart. You want some, you want some big boy football here. Matt Coleman back looks like, there. Looks like they are trying to blitz. Nope. What in the world? Matt Coleman on the carry goes down untouched. What did we just do? Uh, it looked like we were, uh, they were going to try to let us score. And uh, Matt Coleman took a dive right there. So uh, he was just a calculated risk. We're going to take a break right here, 145 left. For over 21 years, J.T. Hanna has provided Dublin and Middle Georgia with quality promotional products and superior service you can count on. J.T. Hanna specializes in screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We also provide customers with original artwork and logos through our talented in-house design. Our website makes designing and ordering t-shirts easy. You can design, choose from an uploaded template, or upload your own custom logo to easily create a lasting impression. Customers can also create purchase sites to make selling shirts for fundraisers or events easy and stress-free. Whether you need promotional items for your company or next event, JT Hanna can help. We take pride in delivering the highest quality products and we take pride in serving you. Try us. I think you'll like us. Contact us today at 478-274-1267 or visit us on the web at jthanna.com. And we're back, folks. It's second and nine. Yeah, not exactly sure. I guess that they just won the score. Edmund Burke wanted to let us score so they get a chance to get the ball back. And Matt Coleman made a good decision. And uh, he gets jammed up right there. They can't, they can't stop the clock anymore. We're going to be third and nine. What? Come out on the field. Some injury. That's why. Is that an injury? They stopped, uh, the clock for us the they stopped it. They'll rewind it now, and uh, we'll go back to clocking it here. Yeah. I hate to see Matt Coleman come off. He's had a heck of a game. Hopefully, he's going to be okay. Maybe some cramps. This is going to be a big play. Oh, it does matter. Are you crazy? God. <laughs> David Coleman goes down the backfield. <laughs> There's well, a, uh, we, we don't. We're not exactly sure what's going on here. But. Well, I think David made a, um, you know, D David made a sophomore mistake right there, and uh, 
it's going to put us at fourth and a bunch at the 29 yard line. Definitely the defense. Definitely the defense is doing a good job of, of holding this Don't. offense that ran out of our, our throats the first half. And That's right. The clock will keep we're running. Gonna our, we're we're going to run defense. it all the way down. We're going to run it all the way down and then make a smart play right here. And uh, unless we get a first down, they're going to have less than 20 seconds. Looks like they're going to run it all the way down and let it be a – they're going to – do a delay game, so we used up all the time. That's right. That's a smart call. Yep. Let the let the time just tick away. So we're gonna punt the ball. Now I think what they may do right here is uh, put David out there and uh, let him burn up some more this time, um, and try to burn this thing down as much as possible, run out as much, and just not go out of bounds. A lot of confusion here. People are trying to figure they out just, what to do. But coach yeah. is trying to decide the best way to run out. I I like our position a lot better than Edmund Burks. It's 14.8 seconds left. It's fourth and a mile. It's fourth and 30, John Mark. And uh, yeah. we got to see. He's going to try to run out well, as much of this. He's going to try to run out as much of this clock as possible. Run, man. All right, it's down to the defense, Don. Yep. Six well, seconds left. I guess we'll probably get one playoff. It's going to well, be a pass play. Hey, they're going to have to pass it finally. You know, this is, uh, at least it's going to be exciting. You know, the one thing about it, our guys got to make sure they don't let anyone behind them. You know, you got to, uh, well, Hopefully we'll see a linebacker or a defensive lineman get in there and sack the quarterback That's and, right. and end it on a high note. That's right. But they, their quarterback has uh, done a good job tonight. He's, he's quick. He can get out there, but we'll see. Yep. yep. They're coming out. They come out in this tight formation, but they they, they may have some kind of toss, uh, a little toss to this number three and let him throw it. Uh, And that's going to, the ball's on the ground. And uh, they try to, we got coaches tell them, look out for the hook and lateral. And it looks like they tried it. And with 1.2 seconds that's left, that's with 1.2 seconds left, John Mark, we have made a great yes. comeback. Uh, this is going to be a, one of the great senior night wins and memories for these kids at Trinity. Uh, all I'll we got to do is man. Take... Edmund Burke came up here. They had a great game plan. They did a good job the first half. Uh, obviously, uh, we made some adjustments, but our defense really prevailed tonight and did a good job right. of stopping them. And, uh, great job. Great job by the Trinity Crusaders. It was a great adjustment, like you said, at halftime. And now we get that, that our favorite formation, the victory formation. And David's going to be able to take a knee here. And it's a great win. And it's going to be a 73 season and we're going to be hosting a playoff game for the first time in several years. And that's the ball, time, that's the ball game. The ball game. Oh, Trinity Fox. 22, Edmund Burke 21. And don't forget, after the game, our players of the game is brought to you by the City of Dublin Natural Gas. When this last storm came through, I think it was Sandy, we were out for seven or eight days, and we were the only ones with power. When the power goes out, there's probably about a six or eight second delay, and then we get a staged recovery. It takes less than a minute, but everything's on within a minute. The furnace is running, the lights are on, the TV's on, the washer, the dryer, the oven, everything. To me, this generator has paid for itself several times. If I lost power right now, these pipes could very easily freeze in probably a day or two, and that would cause significant damage. And maybe insurance would cover it once, but I really don't want to go through having my walls torn out and the pipes replaced. My family's going to be safe and secure in my house. 
because of this generator. That gives you that feeling of security that, to me, is priceless. Would you like the peace and security starting today? Then call the City of Dublin Natural Gas. The City of Dublin Natural Gas, the smart choice. Good evening, my name is Kiana Jones and I'm the representative of Ward 1. Now let's go down to the field for our players of the game, brought to you tonight by City of Dublin Natural Gas Department. Okay, we're here, a big win on senior night. Trinity 22, Edmund Burke 21, and we're here with the defensive player of the game, the City of Dublin Natural Gas defensive player of the game, Gideon Meadows. A lot of big hitting out there tonight. Yes, sir. I mean, couldn't have done it without the team. Big lineman up front helped us get, open up holes to hit the running backs. Uh, a game like this, uh, you knew what those guys were going to come in. They were going to run the ball, and uh, there was a, a lot of opportunities early. Y'all struggled a little bit earlier uh, locking guys up. What coach talked to y'all about at halftime? Uh, just wrap up, hold the man, let the whole team tackle him, not just one person. Don't make a highlight reel. Do it as a team because it's a team sport. It was a great win. We get to play at home again now. What do you think about that? It's going to be a great time. Y'all come out and support us. Thanks again. The City of Dublin Natural Gas Defensive Player of the Game, Gideon Meadows, the junior having a big night with eight tackles on senior night. Another great night at Cleborne Field. It's always a great night when we have a 22 to 21, we're ahead. Yes, sir. What's even special is senior night, and we have no other than Matt Coleman, number two. He's a senior. He played his heart out tonight. Had a lot of crucial runs tonight. He actually had, I think, uh, this is an estimate of around 96 yards rushing tonight, but they were tough yards. And as a senior, it's well deserved. You are the offensive player of the game by the City of Devil Natural Gas. Congratulations, and what do you have to say about this? This tough night against a, a very tough opponent, Evan Burke. I just want to thank my, my offensive line, my whole team, my coaches. Thank God. I don't want to cry, but thank you. Yeah. Matt, Matt, Matt had a tough night. He had the very end, he had a, a hit on his knee, and he's over here hobbling around uh, during this interview. But we, we love you, Matt. We appreciate what you've done for this team, and we appreciate your leadership. Hello, I'm Royce Hall, engineer and drafter with the city of Dublin. I would like for you to know that the city provides natural gas to Dublin, East Dublin at half cost of electricity. Start saving today. Contact the city of Dublin at 272-1620. Congratulations to our players of the game, brought to you by the city of Dublin, Natural Gas.